It's it's streaming. It's streaming now, guys. It's on. It's on. It's working. Oh, are we going? Yeah, it is. It's working. Okay, so well, we we all shut up and leave you to do your introduction, right? You've been drinking, Harry. I, I, yeah, he I has, but Harry I, will be nice. He, he will. will he will it. be nice because otherwise he's going to get told off. He doesn't want to get told off. He's a good boy. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good day. And welcome once more to the channel. Um, today is Monday, which means it's time for a bit more D and D, and that'll be with me doing the DMing stuff. Um, oh, thank you for the, thank you for the host, baby. Um, so yes, I I am uh, DK. Uh, I I am the uh, the. The somewhat cat herder of this absolute shenanigans. Where's my streaming hat? Good. That was oh. so loud. Can't forget the streaming hat. Hey Doge, how's it going, man? Right, there we go. I've got, got the hat on now. Walls, so I'm going to drive all the way to wherever the hell you are and slap you. What? <laughs> anyway, so because it's a Monday, that means uh, I'm being joined by the Monday Bears, and the Monday Bears are definitely the ones who are most likely to cause me to have some form of aneurysm at some point in my life. That's oh, thank you, baby. You got to read the long message. Yeah. Hey, guess what? <laughs> it's been three months now. Uh, it's been three months now, baby, and pretty much our three-month anniversary. I thought I'd say how wonderful and amazing you are, how much I appreciate you, and how proud I am of you, and I love your streams, and you so happy three-month baby, smiley face. Oh, <laughs> You're taking the piss. It's I, I want to take know my... Get is, you a, now. is you having a pop, I want to take my push to talk off to clap, or I could just sort of hit my hand that's currently on my keyboard. I'll give that a go. Or you could just slap your face. <laughs> No, that just sounds, sounds bad. Sounds like you're jerking off. <laughs> it does. It sounds, it sounds more like you're fapping than clapping. <laughs> but because it kind of goes back to what I was saying before about the group most likely to give me an aneurysm. Um, so, yes, because it's... Because mm, it's a... Mo- <laughs> the, 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 the non-committal noise. Because um, it is a Monday, that means that I'm joined by Big Mike. Say hi, Big Mike. Hello. I'm joined by Lyle. Hello. Uh, Harry's here, I suppose. Hello. And there's a nigh. Hello. And there is my wonderful partner, my wonderful queen, Gem. Hello. And uh, the party. What did you do last week, party? We got through the dungeon. You did. You completed the dungeon. And it means I need to open up some other documents which didn't open up for some peculiar reason. Um. We, we kind of got out of the dungeon more by belligerence, force, and sheer stupidity. Yeah, there was, there was a certain then... amount of uh, more by luck than judgment. Now, if memory serves, uh, when basically when, when you, you got out of the dungeon, uh, Illarum was, uh, was, there to, was there to meet you. And uh, I can't remember the exact things that I had him say then because I have since wrote a new document. Uh, Rosen? Written a new document. Uh, but he would have said something along the lines of, well, by the winds of magic, would you look at you, few little new bumps and bruises here and there, touch of repair work needed to the equipment, maybe. You've all made it back in one piece, and I could not be more pleased with all of your performance. You'd be glad to know the initial prospects are looking very good for your full acceptance pending review of the spectator's memory crystals and successful completion of the practical exam. Now head along to your barrack rooms and be sure to drop off any damaged equipment at the armory for repair and have yourselves a good meal and a good rest for you have definitely earned it. Oh, and in the morning there'll be a guild veteran along to gather you up and take you into the city for a little bit of an errand. You'll be spending approximately a week in the city of Neverwinter. Uh, there's a few things we need to do uh, you to do there, but uh, the, a lot of the time will be available to yourselves as well. I do hope you'll enjoy this small amount of time off. Yeah. Um, it was kind of like that. However, he did mention something about uh, us requiring some sort of intelligence program. Yeah, yes, <laughs> uh, I didn't want to repeat that one because I thought you might get upset. Uh, I still blame Smitty with the biddies. Biddies from Smitty's. Smitty's biddies. Everyone loves Smitty's biddies. You always blame me for everything. 
You had the deciding Perfect. vote in me committing seppuku. <laughs> <laughs> we had a, we had a, no, no, you're trying to commit Sudoku. Get it right. If I remember is it Seppuku or Seppuku? Seppuku. Seppuku is the actual thing, but Sudoku was. Uh, we had someone uh, last snore last night was saying about someone from the group should be commit Sudoku. But uh, yes, you have uh, successfully completed through your that, that element of the of the dungeon, uh, and you have been uh, sent off to the city of Neverwinter. And there's a uh, uh, a gentleman that comes to to meet you. Is a a, a rather large dragonborn. And did, did he, where's his character? There it is. Dragon, dragonborn. This is Sejan Geltskin. I just move there so we can see his picture for now. So Sejan Geltskin is a uh, one of the the veteran members uh, of the uh, of the Silvertown Guild. And he, he meets you all uh, as you're you're having your your breakfast in the uh, in the commissary, and uh, he just uh, he just introduces himself as hello there, I am Sejan, I am a a more experienced member of this guild, and I'm here to guide you off to the city. Basically, I'm putting you in the back of a caravan and taking it there. How are you all feeling? How did you like your little assessment? He hangs around with a lot of dwarves, in case anyone's wondering. Well, you know, uh, it was pretty cool. Just, yeah, dead stuff, you know, yeah. What were you fighting against? Dead stuff, I think. I can't remember. Um, well, according to Dan, it was constructs. Oh, that will be all the necromancer. Oh, some more enemies. Yeah, that 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 was that was the necromancer, the the necromancer group. It, it's all like each each time they go into all those dungeons, there's like a like a, a a monster palette that it picks from. And if you got the constructs, then uh, it's usually it's the necromancer. We we did like dwarf lassie would have been near the end of it for you. Is that sound about right? Dwarf lassie, well, right, drow lassie. Drow. Drow. Yeah, drow. I meant drow. I meant drow. I did. I said dwarf. But I meant drow. <laughs> Damn, I can't. Oh, you know, that's a bit racist. They're not all the same, you know? <laughs> ah, they all well, die the first. same way when you put your sword into them. But, uh, yeah, so he, he takes you through the, uh, the, the, the passages of the, of the guild uh, out to I, the... I'd just uh, like to nudge Ion and be like, I bet he stuck his sword in her. Oh, 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 that was a good one. Uh, and we still have another two hours or three hours of this. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if we were <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. It can only get worse now. Did Adris just drop off the world? She was just like, I'm piecing it, bitch. Bye. Uh, okay, so. As we just, if I just move in the, uh, the view here. As I said before, this game uh, it, it is set generally on the on the Sword Coast, um, and uh, the I just realised I got them in the, in the wrong order there for that token, because I actually need a different one. Hey, Bobby. You need the bear token. You always forget about us. Are we still the Sunday Wolves? No, we're the Saturday Spiders now, apparently. Oh, damn. Nice. He's making it up. <laughs> Disadvantage. Where did he get coconuts from? We live in a temperate zone. <laughs> anyway. Stop. So. Yeah. Okay, cool. As you can see here, there is the uh, uh, a, a bear token, which is meant to uh, uh, d denote that you are the bear group. And basically we can put this wherever it is you guys are going out active too. So the first thing is going to be happening is clippity cloppity along the road. You are heading to Neverwinter. Uh, it is the as many people who've played D and D will know. Even people who haven't played D and D, but just have an understanding of Faerun. Neverwinter is a pretty big deal in terms of as cities go. Uh, and uh, so that's the, the first that's happening is you are moving to Neverwinter, uh, and you're going to spending as basically as you're on the on the cart uh, to to here. You, it's, it's explained that you're going to be spending about a week here. Uh, the the guild has already paid lodgings for you, so you're not going to need to to pay your way through or anything. Just move you over onto the next map. 
Wonderful, nice, high quality map there of Neverwinter. And so you're coming in at the uh, at the north gate, and you're staying at a little. Oh, actually, it didn't. I didn't mark it because I was thinking about marking it, but I was sort of like, yeah, you know what, it'll be fine. Uh, you're <laughs> staying at a uh, a little a little um, a little tavern. Just inside the city, you're going to be staying at a tavern. Just yeah. Oh, I always have bad luck with taverns. My party always decides to blow them up. <laughs> Fuck. Are you okay, no? No. I assure you, I will do everything in my power to ensure that this tavern does not get blown up. All right, just look just... at Jacob. Uh, so, second we get there, I'm playing in the library, and I'm. It's about. It's it's uh it's it's late morning as you leave the uh the guild hall, uh, and it's it's uh it's it becomes like yeah you know, it's about lunchtime when no sorry early morning and about lunchtime when you uh when you get to the city, and so you 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 settle down around the um uh blah, 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 what's it called um around the um Our top? table. Yeah, the table, that's it. You sat down around the table for some lunch. Uh and after about five, ten minutes or so, coming down from the uh the main rooms, uh is uh Sejan comes back down and he is accompanied by a female human. And he explains, first of all, this uh is the replacement for Idris, who has Decided she would not like to continue with her um, tenure at this time. Lassie, I'll let you introduce yourself. Um, crap. <laughs> I wasn't prepared to introduce myself. Um, How are you doing, my dear? My name is Maeve. I'm Vivian. Oh, Vivian, that's a lovely name. Nice to meet you, Vivian. <laughs> I tip my mimosa to her. Uh, welcome to brunch. We're having a fabulous <laughs> time. I apologize, my friends. He's a bit um, queer. Um, <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Uh, this is our resident <laughs> wizard. Uh, this is uh, J Jacob, was it? <laughs> that is my name. Welcome. Jake it's actually Jacob Wizardson, if you remember correctly. I I highly doubt that. I on sit down. I just um, keep on drinking my mimosa. This is this this right here with the with the two swords is this is nigh. <clears throat> That's it. <laughs> it's just just clear. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> just, 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 cl just clear straight. That's it. <laughs> well. Uh, as I, as you're new here, I guess it's your round. Um. Oh, yeah, that'd be a good point, right? <laughs> uh, and Session sort of steps forward. And is like, I was hoping none of you were going to ask anything about this at all, but he pulls out of his uh, a, a belt pouch. He pops down a a, a bag of, uh, of coins in front of each of you. Uh, this is for some um, assorted expenses and stuff, but it's basically it's your first wage from the guild. And you'll find in there, there should be, should be, I don't think it's changed, should be 200 gold pieces each. Mm. Holy. That'll be enough for you to get yourself some supplies as you see fit, because don't forget, you have got um, an examination coming up, which you may want to grab some supplies for. And also to, to like, if you want to do a little bit of, of shopping here and there. Um, I would if I would advise as well, given you're going to be here for a few days, you may want to take the opportunity to earn yourself a bit more coin if you do not feel that 200 gold is going to be enough. There is, I believe, a jobs list available on the wall of this tavern. I go and look at it. Um, is is that what you meant to click, Dan? Because hmm? you've just given us another random NPC. I didn't get a random NPC. What? Oh, I got a guy called Grocash Frostwolf. No. I didn't get that. No. Grocash is from the spiders, right? Yeah, would, would you like to look at where that is, where it's listed under players? Maybe under un, under players, then spiders? I don't know, it just popped up. There's, 
It, it would have. Just, I haven't just, sent anything. You're I'm clicking shit. <laughs> I didn't click anything. I, <laughs> you must have done. I have literally the stream. Okay, basically, fun. if the stream can't see it, you've clicked it. The stream can't see it, so you yeah. clicked it. Sorry, Harry. The stream can't. <laughs> Honey, maybe lay off the mimosas. You're getting a bit tipsy. <laughs> oh my god. You're, you're all so drunk. Already. So, yeah. Yeah, medical message said you clicked it. All right. Can I just say you're on 10 viewers, so well done. Yeah, I, I did notice that. I was kind mm -hmm. of shocked that it got to that as quick as it did. Um, so, right, well, before you go looking at the job list, don't forget you have been sent here on a bit of an errand. You've got two jobs that you need to do here before you start finding jobs for yourselves anyway. When I say jobs, they're just like tasks that you have to do as part of joining the guild. The first thing is you need to go and see Sigurd, who has a sigil shop. Oddly enough, it's known as Sigurd Sigils. And he's going to help you all come up with basically a specific symbol for yourself. It's something we, that we do to, uh, as an, ident an identifying mark. So if you ever become horrendously disfigured by some form of spell that goes wrong, for example, we can still hopefully identify you and have you enter into the halls properly. So he opens up his shop in about an hour. He likes to like stay open late and open up late. Uh, and you've also uh, tomorrow got an appointment with a gentleman known as Rashid who will be designing some tunics for you. Mm. Okay. Um, fashion show. Well, I Thanks, honest, uh, fashion east to yourself. Uh, I guess you should lead the way. Right. Let's go. Well, the first place you're going to be going to, as you said, is the whole screen. Screen just spins in the background. Sigurds sigils. So uh, <laughs> you've all made note in your cat sheet of the fact that you've got two hundred gold pieces. Oh right, good idea. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't think you want to forget that one somehow. Where do I put it? Uh, at the kind of like the bottom middle of the character sheet, there should be five boxes: of R, P, P, G, P, E, P, S, P, and C, P. Yeah. Where it says G, P, put a two in front of the number that's currently there. What does G gold piece? Ah, oh, right. Correct. What does G, P mean? No, no, Come no, on. no. We had a, we had a better one. We had a uh, we had a better one. Uh, I think it was on was it Saturday night, where um, oh, yeah, I think it was Saturday night where uh, Ty was, uh, was said, "What's the name? What's the name of that website?" Uh, where I you, saw that where you pin things that you're interested in. I was like, "What well, Pinterest?" Oh yeah, I saw <laughs> you posted that. He was he was having a, a horrendous moment there. Bless him. Dan, I hate to bring this up, but you did just forget the word for table earlier. Yeah, you did. You yeah. actually did. Yeah. Uh, you're all clicking your gold value instead of actually putting the number in, it's, so before we start slinging the insults and shit... I did it! Thank you very much. <laughs> I did it correct. Okay. It's okay. a bit confusing because there's two GPs and the other one is where you're supposed to put the 200 and the other one shows the total. Uh, why is and that? the third one you go to if you have any sort of uh, medical ailment. <laughs> it's also oh, confusing. Oh, I know, isn't it? Just the like the worst. <coughs> right, right. So, um, you um, you take a, a bit of time to have yourselves a lunch. I guess this is not gonna the, the lunch doesn't cost you anything because it's part of the uh, the the room and board um, that's been paid for you by the by the guild. Thanks, medical. <laughs> um, and so then the, you head off to go and see Sigurd and his sigil shop. Now, I asked all of you to come up with an image, yes? Yes. Yes, okay. because I did that. Well, this is also basically just like a little little cover sheet we, can, we, we use for now. So, um, all I need from you guys... Is I just quickly go to, into the Discord and see the images that were saved already. So do, 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 do. it was in the general one, wasn't it? Yep. Okay. So that one's for. <laughs> you poor thing. Hiccups. 
away. <laughs> I feel your pain. Bear me a second, let's just create a new folder for this stuff. Maybe this is Vivian's character quirk. You know, <laughs> the, 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 char the character's always sick of yeah. <laughs> it's a nerd she, habit. She, she was cursed by a witch in her young age and never stopped <laughs> I mean, that's not actually a bad character flaw hiccups when nervous. The whole character's trying to stealth through a dungeon, and we're like, Vivian, fucking stay here. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, character flaw is just that everybody fucking hates him. <laughs> your character flaw is that you're fabulous. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got that right. <laughs> right so you are the Monday group. Let's get these images saved. So, a second. Now, these images, there, there is actually going to be a reason for having them as well, uh, which will be made clear when you get back to the guild. Um. So if you haven't got your image uh, set yet, then just make sure we've got one in time for the next session. You should be yeah, absolutely fine. Yeah, I will fine. do. I was too busy so sorting out I, my character in the first place. I know, I know. I have currently... Do I, I have... Um... Second? Or can I actually find one online and just copy-paste? Uh, I did save um, uh, a link. It should be in the... Using those and they were a little... So you go to the uh, the general chat, the the general channel. One of them now. <clears throat> yeah, it should be. No, I'll pin it now. Um. Right, so pinned in the in the general channel, there is uh, a couple of links for for things that you can use to to put them to, to put yourself up together a a sigil. Um, which so if we don't if we don't have it done right now then um, we don't you don't necessarily need it, don't need it right right now but it is something this is the gentleman who will be uh, etching it onto onto to paper and keeping record of it for you he has a a, a standing um, agreement with the with the guild. I have a quick question about Sigurd. Yes. Um, yes. What race is he? Because he appears to be somewhere between Drow and maybe Tiefling or Halfling. or Gnome and Tiefling. I'm guessing. I'm a gnome, you insensitive little shit! It's just, I've never known a gnome to have horns before. They're only really tiny. It's a piercing! Don't mock my culture, I, you I bastard! I apologise, I thought they would... I'm sorry. Leave the man alone, can't you see? He clearly has fashion sense. I know, but as, as a man of Helm, I must know about anything demonic that is going on that we are not aware, currently aware of. I'm going to make it so that your sigil will give you pins and needles every time you touch it. Because I don't like you now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bugger off. I've, I've got your designs. I'll, I'll forward them onto the guild. They'll be ready for you on the silver tags when you get there. Now, please go away. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you, Sigurd. It's, 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 it's an honor to see you work. So this is one of those bits where, depending on exactly what the players have already got ready, we spend more or less time with this gentleman. But then you uh, later uh, on, you can you can after spending some time with him, you can you can return to the the tavern because Rashid's shop your your appointment is not uh, with Rashid until tomorrow, so you've got some time now, and now you can take a look at the jobs list. So I'll just move the thing over over here because I've done this in a very specific and particular way. Each of the postings has a number on it, because that's an easy way for me to keep track of which ones are which. Uh, and also, each of the bits of paper is technically a, a, a character, because it means that then, when, when I need to, uh, if it comes around to it and you guys have selected a job that you want to do, say, for example, you decide that you're going to be taking on job number one, and you complete that job, I can then just say, there you go, job number one is done. Okay. And they layer off properly, which is lovely. I have a proposal. Yeah. Um, does anyone want to play uh, Blind Man's Job? Ooh, how do you play that? 
Well, it's really simple. We blindfold someone and we give them something sharp like uh, an arrow or a knife. Um, and we have them run at the notice board and stab the job that we're going to do. Well, here you can see the minor jobs list. So, uh, uh, that's no fun. Each well, yeah, each of the of, of the jobs there does have a, a, a thing. We we can still randomise which one you go for if you want to do that. That is still possible to do. But what do you is, say, Ion? <laughs> there's there is there is a selection of jobs that, that that need doing. Some of them will take longer or, or or shorter than the other. So bear that in mind that whether or not you decide to accept the task because you have got an appointment tomorrow. But there's nothing to stop you then using the rest of your downtime to do some of these other tasks as well. I'm up for anything, really, so let's just do the blind man, I say, and I produce another glass of mimosa almost magically because nobody knows where the fuck I'm getting them, and I take a sip. Who would like to do the running, then? How about we have New Girl here do it? <laughs> I was gonna say I, fan I fancy playing blind man's bullshit. Let's go. Right. Who? Who? So who wants to go for it then? Harry, Harry or? I'd like uh... to stay alive. <laughs> um, Ion, Ion, give it your best shot. Okay, sure. Yeah. Ion, uh, if you give me a D eleven, which is basically just the same as doing, you know, the, the like slash roll yeah. or slash R D eleven. Oh fuck! I forgot the slash. Is there not some sort of acrobatics check involved? <laughs> Rolling D11, and you've rolled up job number four, which is a civic duty task. There's a large group of goblins acting up in the woods. Disperse them for 150 gold pieces. And it's not 150 gold pieces each. It is a, the, the reward for dispersing the goblins is 150 gold pieces. Everybody okay with that? Sounds good to yeah. me. Um, how many hours do we have before we have to meet this person in the morning? Uh, well, he opens up his shop uh, normally around about 11 o'clock. And what time is it now? Uh, the time now uh, is 2 p.m. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I reckon we could, I mean, you know, if we clear these guys out by midnight, we can even have a couple of hours, Kip. Yes! So you're doing job number four, so... I, I don't kind of want to force it on everyone, because me and I can kind of railroad this. Is everyone happy? Right. Everyone have to go and disperse some goblins? Yeah, I'm going to go my own, please. What? Off, let's go! Yes! Right, because um, I need to actually now prepare that map, because without knowing what you guys are going to do, I can't prepare the map, <laughs> which is the only annoying thing. But I think, I, the, the map is set, I just need to populate it. So that's number that's fine. four, which is uh, that one <clears throat> there. Okay, because I've got I've got a list preset of all the things of which maps are which. So I need this one here. I'd also like to mention that because my goddess is soon the goddess of beauty and love, my hair is always perfect. Like nothing can make it messy. It's just perfect. It just it just is. Yeah. Just is. Right, okay, so now I need... Oh, and if you don't stop talking about your hair, one of these days I'm going to shit in my hand and rub it in. You can try, but I've got divine protection on my side. <laughs> Ion, my dear man. Do you really think that someone like me rubbing, you know, fecal matter in your hair would warrant divine intervention? I know you think it might be petty, but this is the goddess of beauty we're talking about. She takes this shit very seriously. Well, that shit is a case, maybe. Yeah. I guess we may have to find out. Don't you even try, bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, can you already tell how this is going to go? It'll be fine. Ha Harry's going to have to vaunt at disadvantage most of the time. Yeah, it's yeah. entirely possible. Right, so, uh, let me just put Isn't you always all onto yeah. the map then. So, I need to put your couch on the map now as well. So the Monday Bears, one goes there. 
Now, one thing that I have uh, that we did uh, work out as well is that based on who the character is and how they look and stuff, it actually turns out that the token we were using for Idris is the perfect token for Vivian anyway. So the token's oh, nice. the same, <laughs> which is the, uh, the peculiarity. Put him a bell. Oh, hey, guys. There's a cooking contest. Ooh. I only know how to boil potatoes, but you know, we can try. Oh, oh dear, <laughs> Artifice. That's, that's, that's a bad. Right, okay, so party, you'll be looking at the bottom right corner of this map to find yourselves. Wait, where are we? Bottom, bottom right. Bottom very right bottom right. Very okay. bottom right corner of the map. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, really so, we should have thought of a plan on the way here, but... Well, so it was, it's, so yeah, you've, you've spent uh, a, few, a few hours walking through the... Uh, about, about an hour and a half walking through the woods to get to this location. And there's been, um, let's just, do, 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 what I need is, oh, hang on, I haven't got the right track yet. Okay, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can talk about your sales about your, your plans and things you want to do. Now, from what I can see, and from my prior experience with goblins, we have one of two choices. And what are those? Okay, uh, choice one is rather obviously we can go in there and kill them all. Hmm. Uh, choice number two is we could use various magics and uh, abilities that we possess to try and scare the living shit out of them so they never come back. That sounds like fun. The thing is, though, is I, I just don't know how we would achieve that. If anyone's got any ideas, please, by all means... Speak up. We can always smoke them out. You and your fireballs. Fireballs. I'm the guy that hangs out in the back and fires twigs with pointy... I'm sorry, I get you two mixed up. <laughs> Humans are a bit... Oh, uh, one sec. I've just got to shuffle my car on the drive. I'll be back in a sec. Thanks. Clearly, I'm not the only pyromaniac in this place. I just deleted one by mistake. That's fine. <laughs> We're okay with that. Yeah. No, I just bring it back. I I I caught the wrong button as I was uh, doing it. You know what, as well, I might even do. So, can I just ask what, what the whole thing about the emblems thing you were saying about was? Basically, um, the emblems are there so that uh, you've got. Um, it essentially, is like a, a another form of dog tag. Um, and it's also going to be being used for um, a few things when it comes to uh, signing the party on to doing a task. Then whoever the if you guys denote a leader of the ta of, of the of the uh, the the team, then their emblem will be used to say which team is going on things. You're not all, you're not always going to forever be the bears, the spiders, and the wolves. They need to recycle those names back into other groups that get recruited. Um, so you'll then get a uh, a symbol that that denotes your your squad. Hmm. Oh, I see. Did my um sigil. Okay. 
I'm guessing I've that's got... without the, the, the without the grid. I'm guessing, or on the grid. Grid, on the grid. grid. I've got thaumaturgy, which is pretty good for scaring shit off. I think can make like tremors in the ground or cause my voice to be really loud or make some sound happen. <laughs> cause that off. voice to be really loud. I'm be... speaking out of character. Right? <laughs> no, it would be so amazing though to have that voice go really, really loud. It would be like it would terrify the shit out of most things. I can't yell very loud. My neighbor would kill me. But... <laughs> shit, man. Huh? Well, I mean, you could always go and find a voice changer. There's free ones. Uh, there's clownfish. That works pretty well. What would I? Why would I change my voice? I've already got it down perfectly. Oh, I mean, you can change the volume if you want to oh. make it so it's just I mean, really don't, loud. Don't, don't just deliberately mm. just deafen us. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not yeah. after that. No, that's fine. I I don't need it. But, but yeah, good to know. Bitch, so it's like. Okay, sorry. Apologies. I'm back. Loud and booming. <laughs> Um, so, what are the conclusions? Mm. Do we have a consensus on whether we just go in swinging, or if we try scaring them out? Well, the nearest goblins you can see, the ones around that 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 was like puddle pond, you can see they're trying to fish without really having much success. I think and chattering at each other in their in their goblin speak. Does Actually, thinking see? about this, there's, there, there is a third option. They may have some sort of hideout here that we could... Um, if we could unseat them, they would disband on their own. Pillaging, I'm all into that. I mean, or you can go fishing, it's up to you. Does somebody I mean, here speak goblin? Does somebody? No, probably not. I speak common elvish and deep speech. Uh, none of those are goblin, my friend. Okay. Um, well, um, no. I, I seem could... to have lost two languages while my character was being changed over. Uh, put them back in place. I uh, I could oh, sneak through the forest and find the whereabouts of their hideout, their hidey hole, as it were. That sounds like a good idea, actually. Yeah. Anyone who's good at that kind of thing, see if you can get into a more advantageous position. Um, I'm probably just going to reveal myself and go for it. I'm so who's got the highest stealth? You, um, you, I'll, I'll give you a good head start. Go. And I, I begin to count down from <laughs> 30 very quietly. Okay, well, do you want, whoever it is that's doing this whole running off thing, if they want to give me a stealth roll so we'll see how, how well they actually are doing it. Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay, so just move move yourself as you see fit. And we'll have the Ion, Vivian, you go too. I reckon you could probably do quite well. I'm sorry, but it's not really a good idea for me. Um I'm wearing the scale mail. I have disadvantage on all stealth checks. Ah yes, yeah, sorry, I didn't see what you were wearing under that I tunic. Could go though. I think. Okay, um, well, hold there for a minute. If you want to hold there for a second, then nine. Uh, I was actually going to ask, can I sneak behind these guys, or is that another roll? Uh, be, bear with a second, because obviously, uh, so if Vivian, if you're going to be doing this as well, I have a stealth roll from you two, please. Do I just click stealth, yeah? Yep, yep. Make sure you're all oh, yeah. Yep, carry on, off you go. You think you're being ninja ninja. <laughs> God. Wow, well, it was meant to be better than that. I'm going to go a different way, though. Oh. I'm starting to think that all these stealth rolls should be done in secret by the game master. Cruel. Um, yeah, that's, so a, that's I how I roll in my game. Oh, sorry, was I no? Able to sneak behind these guys here? Uh, where are you at? Where are you at? Let's zoom you in. On the green ping. I'm up at the very top. Um, Holy shit, how far did you get? Avis? With your 23, you can certainly, you can certainly try. Actually, can I see the uh, where they might be hiding out? Uh, have perception check from you, please. Oh boy, 
Uh, Vivian, you have gone a bit too far there. Yeah, no, yeah, I Vivian, think I think you need I to noticed. stop there. You do need to stop there on that one. We'll come to yeah, you in a I second. Will. Okay, uh, yeah. uh, that's yeah, why so I stopped. You can see, you can see that um, Nai, that there is a uh, a fire over here, uh, and there's a cave next to the fire. But the cave doesn't. It doesn't seem to be that it goes that deep. Giggity. Um. <laughs> All right, so can I go back and report my findings? Uh, you can certainly start heading back, um, but I'm going to need everyone to roll me a, uh, an initiative because oh, just to keep a track of what's going on because someone has uh, yeah. potentially upset them. <laughs> oh, who could that be? I picture Nye just walking through the forest, and if you remember the scene from Emperor's New Groove where Kronk is walking down the steps, it's butt bu bu up. <laughs> I <laughs> love that. <laughs> I've never seen this film. Is it worth watching? Yeah, it's Emperor's really New Groove, good. yeah. It's one if you of like Ford's wall breaks, then you're going to love the movie. You'll love Kronk because you've met a few people like <laughs> So these are the, uh, the the two forms of goblin you've you've seen in your in your little journey. Oh boy, fun! Yay! They're adorable. I deliberately tried to find the most cute and adorable goblins that I could. Those are they're so cute. Oh god. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Does he have a fucking spider on him? Yes, he does. Okay, he then. Has a pet spider? Yes. All right, so I'm guessing I can only move my set amount of spaces now. Uh, you Turn yes, it. you can do it this way. Yeah. Should there are a lot of them? Yeah, I'm trying to remember where I put them all now. Have you lost a few? There's a <laughs> lot of goblins. They're also really hard to spot. Yeah, they're yes. so small. They are very small. My only saving grace is they've all got fucking health bars above them on my screen. I, we can't see them. <laughs> no, you can't see the health bars. You're not meant to. But for me to be able to track them and more easy to see, remember which ones have got how much health, I've given them all health bars. Mm. Holy fuck, there are a lot of them. Fuck my life. I think that's all of them. And we wanted people to follow me. <coughs> Um, yeah, that's... We, we're, we're fine. <laughs> As they all just gang up on one of us and beat the piss out of them. <laughs> um, well, they're actually only aware of one of us right now. Yeah. Because I walked Dang. into one. <laughs> we just hear... It's like it. skipping through the woods like, cha la 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 Vivian's stealthy walk with her actually just singing along to some tune. <laughs> it's just, it's just her, it's just her like going through the woods like din 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 din. It's like please just going away from me and Jacob. Just, and I just, on like just, that. Just and we're like, just like ah, oh, this is gonna comic, go. <laughs> comically clings to a tree, going da 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 da. That loud. I just turn to, I turn to me, then I'm like, I'm, I miss Idris. <laughs> No offense, Jim. That's a joke. Weirdly, though, they look so similar. <laughs> from from right. counting the amount of initiatives, there's twenty goblins. Meta gaming. The uh the, the the task at hand, remember, is to disperse the goblins. Disperse, disperse. them. Uh, Murder so... is also a suitable alternative. All right. Okay. So uh, it is the corpses too. Ion, you are going first. Oh, I am? Yes. Um, Maze, what should we do? Um, I say have at them. I mean, goblins are evil. And my faith pretty much purges evil, so I'm good with this. You? Yeah, I'm up for anything. I take another sip of my mimosa. <laughs> I wonder um, how maybe... What was, that, what was that flamey thing that you do? Oh, the flamey thing? Mm -hmm, uh, that one. <laughs> I've got a few of those, actually. <laughs> uh, 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 well, if you can get reasonably close, you could probably do the, like, the cone flamey thing. That was really ooh. cool last time. Yeah, yeah, the burning hands. Yeah, okay. Um, 
Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah. Let's see how this goes. And I start slowly approaching them, because can they already see me? They can probably already see me. Uh, they're really quite heavily concentrating on the fish in there. They're like, like tongue poking out and everything. They've got like, the classic thing of it's just like a branch with a bit of string. No, no real really, really, really loudly. loudly. In the bush. Just there. I, I, I stand behind this bush and I'm going to cast Thaumaturgy. What? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> and uh, get it. Make a uh, air horn sound come from like over here. Okay. Right. Okie dokes. So you you can you can do that. Yeah. Do I have to click on thaumaturgy? Uh sure. yes, yeah, just remind me exactly what it does. <laughs> Instead, then. So, so you, uh, so you're doing the uh, an instantaneous sound originates from the thing. Hey, Wes, how's it going, man? Uh, is this sound? So, uh, the first thing that's going to happen is that the, these three here, who are by the uh, by the, the, the little pond, uh, all drop their fishing rods and go. What was that? And 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 turn to face it. Nice. The one who is the one who is standing right next to the location that you pinged, which is just here, because there's yeah. one right above it, um, and it is going off behind him. Soils himself. Nice. Because <laughs> he's just been wandering through the woods. <laughs> Okay, and then, no, I, and then I, I move behind this one, and I'm like, surprise, bitch, and I, oh, yes. I smack him in the back, no, I smack him in the back of the head with Gertrude before he notices anything, so do I, can I do that with advantage? Um, yeah, I'll let you have a vage on that one, because there's a lot of these guys and you're about to get mobbed. That's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> To the rescue. Oh no, wait, can we just appreciate the icon that Dan put next to the one who crapped himself? Ah, <laughs> uh, only two damage. Yep. <laughs> Poor little <laughs> goblin. Uh, then it's the goblin, which one is it? Is it, It's that one there, which is a, a regular goblin. He's going to also notice the sound, and he's going to Run towards it. Jimmy's over there! <laughs> Fucking voice. Uh, it's the turn of this goblin who's probably going to have noticed the fact that you just bopped his his, uh, his fishing buddy on the back of the head. Go like... Who the bloody hell are you? <laughs> nips past. <laughs> and he's going to that, attempt That voice to... just makes me think of Blue Boss. <laughs> Spike <laughs> Milligan radio show to slash at you with his uh with his, his scimitar <coughs> and bish oh, no. Okay. no it's not gonna hit you is it uh May it's your turn okay um um there are a lot of goblins there are so many. Let's take the goblin quest. That'll be fun. Yes. One sec. I'm just going to click a thing. I'm not doing it. I'm just trying to remind myself what it does. Ah. Okay. Have you added your wisdom modifier to that? Because... Um, so so 30, I was, was going to... I'm just gonna colour the goblins. There's a couple of the goblins to make it a little bit easier to see something. <laughs> These pale, I've, I've, had, I've had to zoom his, right in. Pale ass goblins. They are very small. But the thing is, they're goblins. Goblins are small. 
I've already made one shit itself, so I'm pretty happy with myself right now. <laughs> um, I would like to move to here and then throw a javelin at this one. Mm, go for it, son. Uh, that will hit. Nice. That's the first javelin I've seen you hit that actually did something. <laughs> hey, and I just shout loudly, Hey, fuck you, Ion! <laughs> I just take another sip of my mimosa. Oh, you, su you somehow managed to keep it around. Yep. I just keep on pulling new ones out of somewhere. Oh, so you sling your javelin, it hits the goblin. And the goblin, poor little goblin doesn't make it. <laughs> oh no. I would like to follow out that up with a bonus action just to shout, BOO! <laughs> Good shot, babe. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Okie dokie. And it's on to the turn of a goblin archer. Which one is it? Which one is it? It's that one there. He's going to scamper. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up onto the rock. And he's going to take a shot at me. Hey, Snore, how's it going, man? Uh, mimosas are alcoholic artifice, yes. And... Badoosh, there's a 14 hit you. Harry. I definitely dodge out the way. And it's turn of this goblin archer who is going to... to there, and then he's going to clamber up the tree. So he's basically sitting in the, the, brush, the brush at the top of the tree now. <laughs> And he's going to take a shot at... Oh, it's evens. He's going to go take another shot for Harry. Ah, uh, yeah, six is going to hit. And a turn Do you mind here. if I circle him so I know there's one up there? Yeah, go for it. Is it aware? Where is he? Yeah, it's aware. Yeah, but you've been, oh, all right. been spotted as another goblin runs up to you, branches this weapon, and says, Who the bloody hell are you? To, to Vivian. Yes. There's a goblin standing in front of you, shouting, Who the bloody hell are you? <laughs> Whilst it waves its little scimitar in your face. Um, hmm. We're fucking evil, we're not even talking. Okay, sorry. That's all I reply saying. So, just, say, so, what did you say? Just my name. Oh. It asked who I was, so I said my name. What are you doing here? Nothing. Just what? lurking. Lurking? No, looking. <laughs> what are you looking for? Um, a person. Who are you looking for? There's no persons around here, there's only goblins. Um, but then can I leave? Uh, I, I, I heard someone scream. Wasn't me. Well, no, it sounded like a goblin. Um, not here. I heard a big boom. Like, an air, like, like, like a, an air horn, if I knew what an air horn was, because <laughs> air horns don't exist in this world. <laughs> That's the oh. magic of... All I've got in my head is Ace Flea Bottle from the Goon Show. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've got, yeah. That's I'm, what I was saying a minute ago. From I the, think, I think it's radio. dangerous around here because I hear his screaming and loud noise. You should go and hide in our cave till we can work because it might be an animal come to attack us. You should go, go, go north and hide in our cave till we can fight it off. Oh no, I feel horrible now. Yeah, <laughs> so do I. I just um, sit my mouth. <laughs> if you're sure. Yeah, it, it'll be safe. You'll be safe. You should be safe. Um, you okay. might be safe. Depends what the monster is. Uh -huh. Oh my god. We're monsters. Take like your evil, oh. evil. I talked to it and it was Oh nice. my god, I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I mean, Ion, I, I think our plan is the right one. Yeah. And the metagame knowledge does not change that. Oh my god. Thing is, they've been
being nice and I had a really evil plan to do. <laughs> uh, these two are just going to talk to each other. What's going on, boys? What's going on? I don't know what's going on. And then the goblin that comes around this turn is already dead with a javelin through its body. Oh no. <laughs> You're in trouble. Who can say where the road goes? <laughs> Damn. That sucks. Just, just, just abandon him, it's fine. I close my eyes. Only for I don't know how to the moment's gone. <laughs> I don't know who's wrecking is, 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 is this. It's, shall I take her up to the cave? I'll, I'll show her the way. I'll lead her up to the cave. See, I'm protected here. I like this. So that's the goblin. You're, you're, you're ostensibly you're meant to be following that one. Oh, okay. Do you want me to move? You know, you know. When your turn no, comes around, no. that's the, that that one. That one is that's offering fine, to then. show you the way. He will show okay. you the way. Oh my I'm god. Sad oh, I man, get to die. Me. I'm very sad that I didn't get to try out my thing though. <laughs> oh, how how dare I? How dare I as a DM provide you with controversy? Well, can I at least tell you what my thing was going to be? Go on then. I was going to do an acrobatics check to jump over the goblin that was on my left to go up to get behind him so that I could wrap the chain of my flail around his neck to strangle him. Oh. I mean, I mean, now there's, I don't feel so just... bad about there's... killing them in the normal <laughs> way. <laughs> I mean, you going... can still choke him to death. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing to stop you from doing that. But yeah, but now it's not really the same because they've offered me nice. I I know artifice. Don't worry. I know. I know. I, I was I was going to give it a little bit longer. Um. See, it was a good idea though. Yeah, this goblin is going to be uh, hurriedly looking for some big, decent-sized dock leaves so he can wipe his bottom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nye, what would you like to do? Oh, man. Um, do I hear anything that's going on? Any? Well, you've um, heard some screams. Like an air horn? You, you've, heard, you've heard a sound a little bit like an air horn, but you know we don't know what air horns are because of you know, reasons. Um, you, you've heard uh, a, a scream of, of one of them dying. You've, you've heard it definitely it was a very goblin death scream. Um, what is this tree here? Uh, a sec, I need to move up to where you are again. Because you're up right at the top. Say again? How tall is this tree here? Uh, that tree goes up about 25, 30 feet. So this clearing here from up there? Uh, you have a decent view, yeah. Acrobatics to, or athletics to try to uh, uh, climb up there? You can do athletics or acrobatics, certainly, yeah. Okay. Rolled a 17. Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough to get you up that tree. Hey, I just want to see what. Uh... Okay, so that's, that's your your move and your action to get up the tree because of, of the, the, like you're, you're climbing a tree. Um, but yeah, you can you can see basically you can you can essentially you can see the the whole of the the map and because of the sort of bow you've got, you'll essentially have like ability to hit any of them if you so choose to. As long as there isn't something between you and them, you know, cover and shit. Just to err on the side of caution because I don't know what the hell's going on and I'd rather not start many well, give problems. Me, give me, give me a turn. quick little perception check. <clears throat> yeah, you, you, you heard the exaltations of joy from Ion and Maeve. I would like to mutter to myself, I'm gone for maybe five minutes and these bastards can't even keep from fucking killing something. It's the goddamn last group all over again. That fucking end's gone. Oh, fuck. Can I roll a perception check to see if I heard that? <laughs> well, it, to see if you heard a half-elf muttering to himself from halfway up uh, uh, at the yes, top of a tree. From, from over 100 feet away. Yes. Let's, yeah, fine. Go for it. You will need to get a crit. 
You will need a crit. Doesn't he also roll at disadvantage for that, too? Uh, he should have done technically, <laughs> but nah, he'll be fine. Yeah, nah, nah, he's, he's fucked it nope. up. He's fucked, he, couldn't, he couldn't hear anything. Uh, what would Jacob like to do in this absolute disaster movie? Well, I, I normally set things on fire, but as the goblins are semi alright. You don't no, know, we don't you know, don't know that. that. No, you, no we one, don't know no this. One, no one's attacked me yet, so I'm going to be move cautiously. Walk towards me. They're the friendly ones. <laughs> You're the ones that don't know that we were killing I, them yet. I think me and yeah. Arn are kind of committed. <laughs> I, I, okay, you should I be. Gonna, I was going to head north where the ranger went. Okay. <laughs> where the ranger went? <laughs> you there, random ranger. I don't know your name. <laughs> Who are you? Go, go, power ranger. He is Arathorn, son of Arathorn. One of the rangers you, from you, the north. You said Arathorn twice. I know, he's he Aragorn, could. son of Arathorn, one of the rangers from the north. Okay, fair enough. The Rangers from North. Uh, so, do you, are you going to do your dash action to to move further, or are you ending your turn? There? I can do, yeah. It, no, it's actually, I'm not. I'm not telling you to. I'm asking if you're ending your turn there, or if you are. If you're moving further, or I'll hide behind else. this tree. Hide behind this tree. Lovely tree. Uh, I love this drink. The goblin archers, which are over here, by the way, there's a couple over here too. They're 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 still tending their lovely new fire, completely unaware of whatever else is going on. Oh my god! <laughs> you poor bastards! Oh my uh, god! These guys! Are, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's. I heard, I heard shouting. I heard noises. It's weird. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I love how we've gone from kill the bastards to oh my god, I'm a horrible person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I technically haven't killed anyone yet, so. You just only... them on the end. No, you, no, you just fucking brained one. <laughs> I made one shit. So. I only did two damage to the one, and then I made Mike. another one shit himself. So. Mike, I told you this a million times. Dan is my Gavin. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> this is horrible. I hate myself so much right now. <laughs> We're committed, buddy. Let's just keep going. You're going to have one with the scimitar come running up to you, Harry? <laughs> have at. Oh, no. These poor goblins, as if they're, it's as if they're just they're a little bit shit now or something. It clangs harmlessly off my mail. Uh, where's this goblin? It's up here. Okay, so that's one of the others. It's still, it's still just talking to... I've got so many goblins on this map. Uh, and then this one is... Uh, I'll come with you. I'll, I'll look after you. And he's gonna time his move to basically to to be matching you. Uh, Vivian, oh. what would you like to do? I want to follow the little goblin. Okay, I'll be nice. Oh my god! You've got no idea how much I'm enjoying putting all of you through this. This is <laughs> the worst thing you've done to us, and you've done some pretty fucked up stuff. <laughs> All of us, I haven't done shit. I've climbed a tree. Uh, as back round to Ion. What would you like to do, Ion? Ion, I sent, oh you, a my God. I sent you a whisper on the roll to any chat. Did you? Okay. okay. <laughs> you, do you think that can work? Let's try. I'm gonna try and capture the goblin, like, take him hostage. Okay. How? 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 What? What do you actually want to do? Well, how are you planning on doing this? I'm Use gonna. <laughs> I don't have a net. Um, I'm gonna Fucking kind net. of jump towards him with my like full body weight and try to pin him underneath me. And... So you want to squish him? They're, they're little that... goblins. They're little. <laughs> you squish <laughs> it. Are you calling me fat? I'm skinny, bitch. Wait. Now. I, the only way I can put this is, are you attempting to Kevin Spacey him? What does that mean? I don't know. That's oh, no. oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no. 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 I just no. Dan, that meant... Dan no. the viewership of your uh, the viewership of your Twitch channel just halved. That's horrible. Oh. It's like um, diving on him and the, wanking. I think the plan is to uh force uh the fourth ion on top of the goblin. <laughs> <laughs> how does that, how does that sound any better? 
You just want to squish the goblin. The little let's tiny goblin. Have, you want to squish uh, the goblin. Okay, no, let's okay. have enough uh, athletics. Athletics to it's 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 just a grapple. It's a grapple. So athletics okay. uh, thing for it. Athletics, where's that? Fuck. Oh, well, unless you critical fail, you've succeeded because he basically run a two. Yeah, you've got a goblin pinned underneath you. Go, ah, and let me out. What are you doing? Get off. You smell like mimosas. <laughs> oh, no, I'm a drunk man on top of a small goblin. Oh, this is worse. This is getting worse all the time. Told ya. Uh, Maeve, come help me. We're going to capture this one. So it would be two drunk people squishing a goblin. Maybe we can use him as leverage. You're going to sandwich him. I guess worse the fact that both holy people as well. Um, yeah. Two. Oh, oh, oh God, <laughs> my. <laughs> yeah. This is like the Catholic Church all over again. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this, is, this is the worst. All I can see is DK just sat there laughing. <laughs> This is horrible. <laughs> Sorry, did I just lower no, the no, no, no. You just broke the DM. What the fuck oh, is wrong no. with you? Right, Artifice, okay. You so, I, mean, I think to be, to be fair, I was waiting for the next time that you mentioned a mimosa, but I think that, yeah, I think it's, it's, you've said that you're drunk. I think we've got to have that constitution saved from you to see how well you're handling your drink. Fine, constitution. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little fine. Yeah, you're fine for now. You're fine for Steady now. You, you, you've, you've, got a, you've got a good old buzz on. My shooting hand. <laughs> I'm a high-functioning alcoholic. You have to understand, this is my daily life. You're, I you're know how to handle my drink. Lying on top of a goblin, I think, is a barely functioning alcoholic, to be honest. But there we go. <laughs> you're, you're rolling around on the floor with a little green fella. <laughs> oh, this tea is coming from my eyes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just make sure you wash off the grass stains. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel like Bill Cosby. <laughs> oh man, stop! Oh dear, this goblin, oh, this goblin really runs crazy. over to start looking after and helping his friend as best as he's able Did to. Did he start beating him and spanking him? It's the only way it's gonna work. Not mention the spanking. <laughs> Jesus fuck! <laughs> it's the only way. Work well, this well. goblin's gonna try and wriggle out from being pinned underneath. See, that's <laughs> pinned even underneath worse. the cleric. It depends where he wriggles and what he kicks. Well, he's just rolled a seven, so I don't think he's gonna evade it. But oh no, <laughs> he's, he's, I, I, I don't think I'm even gonna make, make uh, lie off roll there to be honest, because rolling a seven is horrendous and trying to be evasive. Um, <laughs> Maith, what would you like to do? I wish to abduct the small childlike creature in front of me. No, How would you I... like to do that, Dave? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> he definitely slips out of your grip, says, Not today, you haven't got a puppy. Okay, <laughs> I, I then follow it with a great sword. Okay. Oh, no, 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 because no, the, the, the attempt to grapple, that is an attack action. Ah. Oh. Can I not lob a net at him or something? <laughs> no, because well, lobbing a net is already a disadvantaged thing, so trying to make you do it as a bonus actually, you'd have to be under like triple disadvantage or something stupid, so no. Can I not just give him a cheeky jab to the face? No! Ah, <laughs> oh, this sucks. Listen, Harry. Fine. You tried to do a thing, it hasn't worked. <laughs> and now you're going to get shot. At, at least. Oh dear. <laughs> I really hope this goblin actually lands the, the shot now. The 22 hit you. <laughs> Harry. I don't does, think you need to ask. Does, does, uh, does it, I, hate, I hate doing maths, Dan. Just uh, well, give me a minute. Yeah. Uh, that's eight does points a 22 of... hit my armor class? <laughs> <laughs> so you leave him alone. He's the youngest. Fwang. <laughs> eight points of piercing 22. <laughs> Add 36, minus 12, what? plus 6, <laughs> and then Three carry seven. the 2. Yes, 22 beats my armor class of 15. <laughs> okay, well, he's taking 8 points of piercing damage, which is possibly what the goblin's going to take if you land on him as well. <laughs> <laughs> the next archer is going to take a shot at you as well with his short bow. Uh, for three <laughs> points of piercing damage on this one. Ah, uh, more pissing maths. One sec. 
It's the fact there were so many of them, and you still instantly went for the scrap as well. I was, I was hoping that like. I was hoping, I was hoping to grab him, put the great sword to the throat, and be like, "Don't <laughs> shoot, or he dies." And no, I just completely fucked it up. <laughs> poor, poor nice Jesus struggling. Christ. So many people in this group are now having mental breakdowns. I am. <laughs> Well, I, don't know I don't know what's worse, the fact that I'm trying not to slice my hand open while I'm doing this, because you guys are making me laugh, and I can't see the fucking thing. I'm gonna need a cigarette after this, and I don't even smoke. <laughs> Whoa, this we didn't know getting... you were doing that with the with the small chocolate. Yeah, this is just getting worse. You don't need to know, man. A holy man pinning a small right, thing down, and a then goblin? having a cigarette what? after. <laughs> oh, God. Well... Bye bye affiliate status. Oh. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright guys, I've, I've changed my pants now, we're okay. <laughs> well, we've got Harry for the rest of the night. <laughs> That's the goblin, that's the goblin that pooped itself. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Terry Edric. <laughs> oh, you bastard. Yeah. Well, I think we'll be oh. clipping that later. That was the, uh, that was the goblin that shat himself and now some tea no is now shit. fine. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. No shit anymore. All right, no, what would you like to do? Absolute debacle of a game. <coughs> oh, so you Lord. have to love your Monday bears. No, you're gonna give me an aneurysm. <laughs> You'll be fine. Oh dear. Oh, right, that what would... bad. <laughs> it, it, if you have to use a quantifier, that it's pretty bad. Like, oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that big. Well, it's not that. It, yeah. <laughs> it started off as PG, and, and now it's definitely not. Uh, it, uh, it, mm, yeah, that's one way of putting it. Started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that if it gets much further, I could probably whop my knob out and we wouldn't actually be in as bad of a situation. Oh, God. Oh, well, dear. you would be. Oh, no, what would you like to do? <coughs> um, justice I don't know, I like can think. Tree. Justice for God. Yeah, I'm, gonna... just, stay, 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 stay. I'm, I'm not a I'm not a part of this. Oh, I would like to just stay in this tree and record my witness statement. Where did the big man touch you? <laughs> did I he use his tail? I saw from the tree. <laughs> oh. uh, can I roll another perception check to see what exactly the hell is going on? Uh, I don't think I can answer the question if you roll good enough. <laughs> oh my god. Well, sure. I, I still... Go for it. Roll, roll perception, see what you get. Uh, yeah, so you saw you saw uh, Ion fall on a goblin uh, and and pin it underneath him, and you saw Maeve, uh attempt to grab the goblin by by his shoulders, uh, uh, and just fail horrendously. Uh, can I see anything else going on in the forest? Uh, you can see there appears to be. Well, you can you can a combination of see and hear. Um, the more goblin shapes moving around, darting between the between the trees and the rocks and, and the bushes and stuff. Uh, you can also you can just about see the, the the shape of Vivian through some of the branches on the on the trees distant to you. Because I've got bright red hair, remember? Yes. Okay. Um, I guess I'll uh, I'll climb down the tree and I'll go <clears throat> try a a. a with these goblins here instead of immediately trying to pin them down like a catholic priest <laughs> that is not fair i was trying to not kill him and instead take him hostage by squishing him i'm not squishing him i'm a skinny bitch i'm pretty <laughs> <laughs> well yeah but gertrude's probably like poking the goblins on my oh my God. <laughs> gertrude isn't poking anyone right now <laughs> <laughs> um, so, oh no! Oh no! Check to see if I actually get out of the 
get out of the tree without falling on my ass. Uh, no, it's, it's, it, down is easier than up. I'll let you have that. I'll let you have down. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna <clears throat> um These goblins a... are chattering to each other, they're trying to work out what's going on. Let's see, is oh, it yeah. a persuasion check to uh what, 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 uh, what, what are you what are you trying to do? He's now gonna conversate with them, he's gonna have a conversation. He's gonna conversate with them. Kind yeah. of... I I That's put my hands up. And I say, I mean no harm. Don't. What? What's, what's going on? Did you, where'd you come from? Uh, the tree. Uh, what? <laughs> or I'm a very good climber. Oh, you're right. Okay, I thought you meant like you came out of the tree. It's been very weird. Uh, it's We've heard that, like lots of noises and, and fighting and stuff. There's so, it might be so dangerous in the wood. Did you see any animals? Did you see any beasts? Animals, okay. maybe beasts. No, it would so, be best if you were to get all your people and have them go back to your your cave. Sometimes we get we get we get attacked by wolves, and sometimes bears come after us as well. Oh, these are these are very different types of animals. They're not your normal beasts. Um, get everyone you can and put them, or get them back to your to your. Do it quickly before. Worse things happen. Oh, I guess you saw you, you might cut out for a bit there. I'm guessing you were saying tell them to get back to their hideout. Yeah. Okay. Tell them oh, to run for the hills. That, that was that was that was the plan. We were just find out what's going on. Then we're gonna run away. Signal everyone because, <clears throat> uh, I from what I saw, you may have lost maybe one or two people. I saw one of the monsters pinning one of your friends <laughs> down. So I'm gonna go try to get him off. Oh, and okay. okay. Thank, thank you, thank you, kind sir. Uh, which one's the next one to go? Uh, I'll be yes, and then it's uh, Jacob's turn. What would Jacob like to do? Cry in the corner at the moment. Is that your turn? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> the words here is just so hard not to laugh at certain things. <laughs> these, are not, these are not your ordinary beasts. These are your Catholic beasts. <laughs> well, I very, very, very carefully chose to say that they sometimes get attacked you mean like by a bears. Beast? Just... Uh, it's the turn of one of the Goblin Archers over here. Which... Harry's been very quiet. It makes me worry that he's had like... <laughs> He's, he's probably muted his mic because he's laughing too much. <laughs> Not it's, turn, it's turn this goblin. Uh, he 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 he, uh, he he pulls out a a, a like a, a little a little bit of wood. He holds it in an intricate way and blows sharply. And a, quite a loud whistling noise echoes out through the woods. And uh, all the other goblins that you can see basically is that, like they you know they, they do the whole. Huh? Sort of thing, like a like a dog whistle sort of thing is going off for them, and they're all going to be spending their next ability trying to all return to their cave as best they're able to. This one is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and running along under the tree. And uh, this goblin archer, who's going to do its duty, and is going to 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 hold the line. And this goblin and. He's going to turn and go for it as well. Two, three, four, five, six. So there. Let's go in our chair. Two, three, four, six. So there. And turn to face anything that might be coming after. Uh, the goblin that is engaged with Harry is going to attempt to attack him. Uh, there's a 16 catch you. Yeah, just a bad. Name. It does, yes. Yes. Opens up a little wound on your arm. Well, at least you didn't have to do the maths now. Yeah. <laughs> I preemptively rolled an attack of opportunity. Why? Uh, I assumed he was going to run back to the whistle, but... Yeah.
And Vivian, it's your turn. Is it? Come on, come on, come with us. We'll keep you safe. That's so what the whistle's I for. Just... The whistle says it's dangerous. Move behind him again. Okay. And it's the turn of that archer who's going to do. He's going to respond to the whistle as well, and he's going to take his position, holding the line. Ion, you you have a goblin underneath you that is squirming. Oh god. Um. <laughs> Can I try to, like, tie him up? While Fine. you're squishing him? <laughs> yeah. What, like, what, have you got, you oh got, my you... god. <laughs> so, like, I'm going to position myself so that I'm kind of have his legs pinned. <laughs> <laughs> this is just getting worse. And then I'm going to try to tie him up. <laughs> with the shades of D&D. With my hemp and rope. <laughs> She's getting less and less consent now. <laughs> I have another plan for this turn. My <laughs> god. <laughs> Hang on, give me a second. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't know what to do. I'm 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 lost. <laughs> well you're the one that decided to squish the goblin! Harry told me to. Switch the goblin. Uh, I'm taking when was it a good idea to listen to Harry in all the other sessions? When was Excuse that good? Me. Poppy Blossom on the Twitch chat just says kinky. Oh my god. <laughs> I am. <laughs> like, no amount of antidepressants has made me ready for today. This is. Poppy Blossom on the Twitch channel says hashtag justice for goblins. <laughs> Poppy Blossom on Twitch says, a bomb chica wow wow. <laughs> I'm gonna get that fucking tattooed on my arm. Hashtag justice for goblins. So am I. <laughs> Hashtag me too. Hashtag goblins. <laughs> oh no, 50 shades of green. <laughs> oh, Jesus, fuck that. That's what I said, it was 50 shades of D&D. &D. Uh, 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 oh, I, I am, come on, what are you doing, buddy? It's hard enough. Uh, Killing um, its legs, apparently. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to tie it up. Let's have, um... Uh, let's have Slide another... Uh, no, just, just, just a, a athletics. Athletics thing. <coughs> You're trying yeah. to pin it down while you tie him up. Okay. Try to run this car right now. Real free. Uh, well, nat he's, 20, he's, nat he's, 20. He's wriggling around, he's wriggling around. He, you can't, you can't tie him up. You can't, you can't get hold of him properly. <laughs> God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, my God. Is that my turn? Um, we'll say it was <laughs> what your, else can you do? We'll say it was your bonus action to try and tie him up, so you still got an action to do something, because you already had him, you already had him been pinned, and so you can't, you can't tie him up, because he's managing to, like, keep his arms and legs free of the... The rope, but you see, still pinned under you. He hasn't managed to wriggle okay. free. I'm already so deep. I'm just gonna keep <laughs> digging. <laughs> I'm gonna hook my arm around his throat and choke him out. <laughs> but After not, being so deep inside. Not, not to death. Not to death. <laughs> just, just want to knock him out. Okay. Okay. So oh, so you could do so worse some... things to him while he's knocked <laughs> out. A, a straight up strength check from you, please. I hate myself so much. Hey, Harry, he told you to do it. <laughs> no, that's a for saving throw. You realize oh, well, that's not that's... how, you know, this whole thing works. I'm, I'm not running a peanut like, bar ring here. <laughs> <laughs> you could have fooled me. That's I didn't make Lyle do anything he didn't decide to do. He wanted to do it the whole you time. You told me to capture him, and I was trying to. <laughs> well, I told you to jump off a bridge. Would you do it? <laughs> Stop trafficking goblins! For fuck's sake! Um, well, it's oh, passed no, out. You, you, you've got an unconscious goblin underneath you now. Okay, I get off, and I just. Like... <laughs> 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 that was the wrong choice of words. <laughs> Just... You have an unconscious <laughs> goblin beneath you. What and... do you do? And the Sorry. first words out of your mouth are, I get off. 
pause for effect. <laughs> okay. I just, I just, I just Did roll you off. Just... <laughs> I, I roll what off. Is that cigarette. Sounds worse. Oh Step okay, away, wait, 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 wait. Step and away then... from the goblin. <laughs> Very shakily, with my hand shaking, I pull out another mimosa. And you pull out. Oh my god. Um, I constitute a saving throw. Okay. Oh, you just can't get really gun it. What are you doing? I'm gonna ask you to squish the goblin uh, underneath it. I guess, I'm gonna say, because of the stress of it, that I, uh, we'll have a, a bit of order for that. Yeah, you're. you're 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 drunk. You're 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 struggling now. You you are intoxicated. That's fine. It's better than this hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby, I'm about to up it a notch. Uh, oh god. Oh no. I, I don't know how it's possible at this point. This is horrible. You wait. Just you wait. <laughs> I'm scared now. I didn't ask for this. It just happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's that goblin which is going to turn and run. Oh my god, I'm gonna catch so much shit. I'm I'm never gonna get partner. Fuck yeah. Uh, that just goblin's delete unconscious. This one, that's all you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> May. I'll oh, no, still find it. May, it's your turn. Okay. This is I going like on to YouTube behead. tomorrow. I would like to behead the oh, goblin in front of me. No. <laughs> I did what? all that. Oh, right. Does that do the business? <laughs> no, it, it just deftly ducks under the blow. Fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, but its friend <laughs> saw you taking that shot from atop its position on the rock, and it's going to take a short bow attack at you before it runs away. It's going to go, BASTARD! <laughs> Miss. Uh, and then it's going to, to run. Uh uh, then the one that's in the tree is going to take a shot at you as well. <laughs> and miss. miss. And jump down the tree. And go to run away. Oh my god, there's fucking so much shenanigans. This goblin bringing up the rear. Uh, surrounding Vivian to protect her. Yay! See, I think it should just be renamed Monday Madness now. Oh my god. Might as well. It always happens. Yeah. I hate my life. <laughs> I feel entirely responsible for this mess. <laughs> That's because it's your fault! <laughs> it was not! Oh my God. I had the best of intentions. <laughs> yes, of murder! I wasn't the one who convinced Lyle to rape a goblin. I didn't rape him. <laughs> yes, That's you did. I did. <laughs> so I said kill them. You were the so one who set off an air horn, so made one poo itself, then <laughs> squished yourself on another one. It sounds like a line him. from League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I didn't rape him. I didn't do it. <laughs> I've changed my underpants. <laughs> I'm thinking the provost are gonna come along in a moment as well. And be like, what's all this then? Oh fucking Christ! Come on, let's, let's just finish this. <laughs> I think Leop already did. No, oh, no. Help me. Give me one second. Give me one second. <laughs> I gotta get back to Oh my god. <laughs> Is shit, so I'm having a fight with that. Okay, so let's see. Uh, um, crap. If I do what I plan on doing, I'm gonna wind up using. Damn. What do you want to do? I'm gonna walk over there with this just pissed off look, which you can't tell because of the mask. I'm gonna. Kick Lyov in the face if he's still mounting that poor fucking goblin. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm off him. <laughs> he's, he's he's sat on the floor with a, a very very ruddy. Why face. have you given that goblin the webbed condition? <laughs> it's not. It's the neck condition. Your bell piece. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's still on the floor. I'd like to just ah uh, crap. I'm trying to think the best way to describe it. Um, do you want to move your token as well while you're doing this? By the way, I <laughs> yeah, know where you yeah. are when you're doing it. I just like put my foot up by his face and just push him over and then yell at the both of them and say, "You stupid fucking bastards! You can't wait more than five fucking seconds or try a peaceful solution. You just gotta fucking wave your swords around like it's your fucking dick." <laughs> I tried. I really tried. Oh, I know you try waving everything around. Do I get an attack of opportunity on this goblin? He hasn't tried to move away yet, so I don't know what you're uh. doing. <laughs> you really want to murder the um, goblin. I really do. Can oh, I roll dude. intimidation on him to make sure he doesn't go swinging at someone? Who are you trying to intimidate? Not, uh, uh, Ion or Maeve? Um, Maeve, because he's about Maeve. to swipe at someone. Okay. Yeah, okay. roll for roll an intimidation and see what you can do. <clears throat> that does nothing. No, do you want, want me to do a charisma save? Yeah, just in case. Yeah, nah, he's, 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 not, he's not even noticed. He's still too busy. Fucking do it! Don't you fucking do it! Alright, that's the end of my turn. Okay. <clears throat> Jacob. <laughs> I'm going to continue moving away from all the degradation. <laughs> My God. We're just, all going just, to hell, just, aren't we? Chase, chasing, off, <laughs> chasing off after the, the horde of goblins that are trying to escape and hide in their cave. Poking with the point end! And that goblin's going to hold his <laughs> position. Uh, that goblin is going to... Keep on moving. Two, three, four. Get into the mouth of the cave. And that goblin march is going to hold its position. And that goblin is going to do one, two, three, four. Right, six to there. Get into the mouth of the cave. Goblin march is going to move to there. And this goblin is going to attempt to attack Harry. You bugger off! I saw you did to me, mate! <laughs> what the fuck? Harry's getting a beating. Yeah, Harry, Harry's getting it's fucked up. Karma. I've taken more damage from this pissing goblin than I did from the undegged Hulk in the garden. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, let's turn this goblin that's also going to run into the cave. And turn off this goblin. It's like, oh, keep, keep going, keep going. We'll get, we need you there. Vivian. Yes, I should just keep moving. To that. Yeah. And turn off that goblin arch. It's going to continue holding its position. Ion, I have almost. Uh, I, I I can't. I'm scared to ask this question. What, what are you planning on doing? <laughs> okay. How dead is this goblin here? No. <laughs> um. A just quick question. Uh, answering to to the body. Uh, I I don't know. I just go and make sure that my maps are always like less than fifty by fifty, and then everything seems to work. Um. Which uh, the goblin that's in front of you, the one that you've tied up. No. How dead is the one that Maeve killed with the javelin? Uh, like, oh, it's it, it, it's it's very dead. It's very dead. I can't heal it back to like <laughs> life. Well, it's it's Goblin. been it's it's <clears throat> been um propped up by the javelin that's impaled through its chest, and it's basically it's like it's pitched over backwards, but it's like it's not fallen on the floor. It's like being held up by the javelin. God, that's gruesome. You can give it a go. <laughs> oh my God. Right there. <laughs> Um, I mean, I've got a cantrip called Spare the Dying, but I guess you can use Spare the Dying if you would like. It's already dead, isn't it? It's not going to help. Well, uh, I can't remember exactly what Spare the Dying does, so it uh, only stabilizes a person while they're doing. Then no, their that, yeah, that, that that isn't that isn't going to work. Oh God. Okay, I'm gonna tie this goblin up now properly while he's unconscious. Oh okay, my okay. God. No, it's okay. And like, I'm gonna gently pick him up and like go over 
no, no. I'm gonna take him over here and. <laughs> oh, so you're gonna his... take him over to somewhere no one else can say you do things. No, no. Please <laughs> stop this. This isn't funny. This is my life we're talking about. But, yeah. Hey man, he's not an altar boy. And I'm gonna present it to his goblin friend and say, "We've captured your friend. Please surrender, and we'll talk about this properly." Okay. <laughs> You already killed one of us, though. You killed I, my brother. I, I, I didn't kill him. It was that guy over there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that uh, a carriage? Let's, right let's here? have a persuasion check from you, please. Okay. Oh. What's persuasion? There it is. That's pretty good. Uh, it is. Pretty good, actually, and he does. He he he, 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 he takes. He, he doesn't step out of the way, but he does. Like he, he lowers his, his his weapon, but he keeps his shield up. Okay, Maze, Okay, don't attack this poor goblin. I think we've done enough harm today. <laughs> and I end my turn. Okay, that goblin's gonna run to there. Uh, that goblin is unconscious. Maid, it's your turn. I swing my sword. I, I have a oh question, my. sir. Yes? Does this qualify as a flanking bonus? <laughs> no, I am not a part of your flank. It is distracted in a way, so yes, it is technically no. flanked. You bitch, how dare you? It is technically flanked. How dare. Oh, and you've just completely... <laughs> Are you... But but I'm not going to I'm not gonna give that the crit celebration that goes off on the stream, though. This you is... horrible, horrible person. He's like, all right then. And as you look, as he lowers his weapon, you just completely cut him from down through the top of his head, out through his groin. Oh my god, I'm gonna be sick. I kick the corpse, bits of corpse to the ground. Fucking. <clears throat> well, uh, that's the goblins dealt with. I'm just standing there in horror, like. Complete, like, horror. What sort of paladin are you again, by the way, Harry? <laughs> um, is he a paladin anymore? At this point? Devotion? <laughs> okay. Just, just checking. Cool. Um, can I do lay on hands on myself? <laughs> After having watched what was going on between Iron and the Goblin, you now want to lay hands on yourself. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. It's going to be very, very healed in a where you can lay on hands yourself. And so you've got, yeah, obviously you've got up to, up to... You should have up to twenty hit points you can use because you haven't you haven't leveled that up alongside your your stuff. Oh, I do apologise. I didn't know. In that case, I'll I'll probably cast that for ten. It's it's because you get five hit points. Uh, you, well, you get five points of charge per level. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to tweet about this session. I didn't know. I don't normally tweet about the sessions, but I'm gonna have to tweet about this one. Oh my word. I just can't wait to see Harry's right off of it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> we better think Harry gonna remember it. This is the worst thing ever. I don't, I don't think Harry will ever forget this. I, I don't want um, to be remembered I, for this. I do apologise, I did kind of get into a mind space then. This thing was hitting me, and I was quite happy to hit it back. <laughs> I realise now, after killing the thing, but what I did was wrong, and I will repent later. But for now, there are more goblins to kill. I mean, I mean, disperse. Hi, on, on. lead the way. I will. Do they actually see me at this point, seeing as I'm standing like repent literally right in front of them almost? Later. Oh, why don't you come over? There we go. So actually, what we'll do is at this point we'll say that you're you're out of an initiative order. Vivian, why don't you move on up to to being in the cave? I'll move the rest of the goblins up to be in that area. We'll say that we're out of an initiative order for this. Okay, because I'm at it's, the cave. There, there's a, there's a there's a significant enough enough break uh, in in the combat there. 
Uh, I'll All right, now hold on, Maeve. Hold on, first. What? What did I do? Something. I'm gonna roll something. Oh, the. Yes, good. I walk up to him. I take my sword out and I stick it right in one of his nostrils and I say, "Listen, next time." any harm you've got choir boy over here tying up some person you're lopping people in half whoa 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 easy easy with the knife knife bread i'm sorry the guy was stabbing me it, it all got a bit heated okay won't happen again I killed the poor bastard You see this? I'm pointing to the wounds now. See, that's that's what the, this little bastard did. I take my thumb and just like push into the wound like really, really fucking hard. Ow, why would you do that? The fucking feral gerbils that deserve to get put down. Oh. I thought about doing something peaceful. Uh, Harry, can I have a history check from you please quickly? <laughs> That's, um... Yeah, you've been doing all these advantages. Should not have been done at advantage, my bad. It's, it's, it's fine, either way. Uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, you've remembered that the actual wording on, on the quote-unquote bounty, the it wasn't never listed as being a bounty board. It was a jobs list board. Uh, and the, uh, the, the job that was listed was to disperse the goblins. Uh, a large group of goblins acting up in the woods dispersed them. It was the actual wording on on the notice. Oh, dispense them. I will concede that perhaps my inexperience with dealing with goblins led me to uh, jump to a rather rash course of action. Bap them on the head with the butt of my sword, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, do, just do, do a do a, a, a regular uh, attack, but obviously we we'll just uh, ignore the damage element of it. Yeah, so that would just be what strength? Yeah, or just a d twenty. Uh, do do, no, do do it as a um, as, your sword yeah, short as your as your as your short sword attack. Do it as your short sword attack. We we'll just ignore the damage. Uh, yeah, you, 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 Harry, you Maze doesn't see this coming at all. He just gets a back on the back of his head. I have... Come on! That was completely uncalled for. Ah! Ah! Oh, am I bleeding? Ah! I'm not responding. I've sunken down and I'm hugging my knees to my chest and rocking back and forth slowly. Ah, that really pissing her. That wonderful you know, moment. You're a menace, Nye. Yeah, eat. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't go around you, killing you. Sh people. You should watch he's the, yourself. He's the menace. I love this. Can, can I also walk over here, untie this poor helpless creature, and then start carrying it back? Well, it is Seems completely it's completely completely unconscious, so you you can you can untie it and and carry it as, as you as you would. And I'll just. You're giving me shit for giving one a clean death, and yet this one who practically. Pinned him down and had his wicked way with him. You just, you just, just give him a free pass, are you? I didn't do anything. <laughs> Last time I checked, there's two corpses. Seeing as that one over there is currently, uh, he's currently pinned. Yeah, and I didn't even sexually assault spheres. one of mine, so I think I am owed an apology. Apologies, I or, or or he is off. deserved of a blow on the head. One of the two. I was just trying to neutralize him without killing him. Actually, yeah. Then sure, why are your flies undone? <laughs> it's not though. I'll whack Ion here with my uh with my bow, just just a bop, like just. That's fine. Yeah, I'm not. Said, yeah, I, I think I think you've had a a, a, a wound to your pride. Yeah. Oh, me. Being boppered. Very quietly, me and I just look at each other. And go. Yeah, I believe we may have fucked up there, friend. 
And then, um, yeah, like I said, I, I carry the uh, poor, currently now going to be mentally scarred goblin back to the... <laughs> Uh, no, we'll, uh, we'll wait out here. Probably best you, uh, deal with the diplomacy on this one. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a whole lot of cleaning up for your mess. I'm just gonna... <laughs> just me and I just walk back to town. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pull out a drink and be like, I need one, do you need one? <laughs> I need to get back to town. Someone I need to see. Oh, is that the time? Oh, well, it's half past middle of my sundial. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so there's, so... A, there's a conglomeration of goblins here. Oh, uh, I've I've dealt with the uh, with the beasts. You won't be hearing from them anymore. Oh, thank, I... thank you. I don't. We're afraid we don't have any money or anything. We, you can you can sit and have a meal with us, though. Oh no no it's, no! It's fine. It's squirrel. Um, we got we got lots of squirrels. Uh, honestly, me and my other compatriots here, uh, we were sent here to. We were sent here because we were told that you have been a little bit of a nuisance here in the forest, and we were wondering if there's any way where. It, or that you could. Well, we're not. No, we're not a noose. I mean, okay, fine. So maybe, maybe the squirrels were in traps. But, but if if a hunter doesn't come back and claim a trap within eight, eight hours of it being sprung, then it's fair game. That's that's goblin law. But I'm not saying you have to stop what you're doing. I'm just saying that maybe there's a way you could do a trade. Are you after anything that you might be able to trade for the squirrels? No. Are you good at trap making? Uh, kind. No. Where did I you get your weapons? No, you can't. I, I saw a couple of your friends had bows. Do you know how to make bows and arrows? Well, yeah, but they, yeah, they're, they're not. I mean, they're only really any good for people our size. Should be. Fine, if you know how to craft those, you could system you trade so many arrows for a squirrel. Well, we could... Or you could work with the hunters. Well, yes. we, we know our way around the woods, so we could, like, guide them. So next time they come through, just be peaceful and say... Oh, no, we, try, we, we for... normally try and hide because people try to kill us. Speak to the hunters, and I will let them know okay. not to not to attack you guys. And oh, if if you say that you so, wish to work and... with them, I, do my I, best. I, 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 no disrespect, but I don't really believe tall folk. But that voice is think, killing me. If you say so, <laughs> can I uh, can I crouch down so that way I'm like still unconscious. level kind of not to be mean. Yeah. I'm like a tall folk. <laughs> <laughs> when you're committing to the voice. <laughs> and, uh, thing I sent you, I, um, I, I take my mask off and move it to the side a little bit and just say, you can trust me, I swear. I will make sure that they don't hurt you. Yeah, peaceful resolution to this. Oh, let's have a persuasion check from you. Stuff. I'm not really lying. No, it's persuasion, not deception. Uh, uh, yeah, if you say so. Sure thing. Okay, so you get you get the feeling that he's not really Yeah, you know, it's it's it, then the the it's not that they don't it's not that they don't trust you. It's more the fact that maybe you're not the first person who's promised to be nice to them. Where's the hunter's guild, I guess, in the town? Uh, the well, there'll be a, there'll be a main hunter's guild along the uh, like the the east wall. Let's see. I would like to talk to names. I can't remember names. Uh, Vivian and Jacob, and I say, hey guys, um, stay here and 
help keep these guys safe. I'm going to go talk to some people. And now we go for Theatre of the Mind. Because this is the sort of shit I don't play maps for. Because how can you prepare <laughs> for this? Right. Um, I suppose I'm going to... Can we assume that Nye catches up with me and Ion on the way out? Uh, he's fairly fleet of foot, so yeah, let's say that he's caught up with a pair of you. I smack my head on the back of the head with my hand. Just... I don't fucking... Come on, Nye. thought we were past this. But I mean, technically I've gone past you, so... Think about it. Just runs up on your left. Yeah, I continue so, to the. Are you, are you? I was gonna say, are you gonna go back to town with them, or are you you going off on your own? Going to the Hunters Guild because I made a promise and I intend to keep that promise. Okay, dokey. So you head to the uh, the Hunters Guild, uh, and at, at the at the yeah, so you get to the basically like the, the reception desk, as it were. And there's uh it's basically it's like a like a a, a, a the classic sort of like trapper's lounge sort of thing for it. There's a few uh, animal heads on on the on the wall. Uh, there's a couple of like stuffed and rearing bears in the corners either side of the of the fireplace. Uh, there's a a wonderfully ornate um, crossbow on the uh, uh, hanging above the fireplace. You know with the with the, with a plaque underneath it that denotes it as being like belonging to some previous high ranking member of the guild. It's it's like the, the you know the classic sort of like you know the type you know Hunter's the type. Lodge sort yeah. of yeah. Uh, I walk up to the person at the front and I say, "Hi, is your uh, is your guild leader here?" Uh, do you have like an appointment? Unfortunately, no. But I do have possible uh, work order that was put up back in town about goblins in the forest. Oh, have you have you, have you come to claim the job? Have you come to claim the the, the bounty? Have you uh, how how how, claim... how did you disperse them? What, what, where, where are uh, they? What have, you, what have you done? I would actually like to make a proposition with your with your guild leader, if possible. Uh, I'll, just, I'll see if he's available. Bear with me. And he sort of like he schleps off out of the way and comes back a little while later with uh, a, 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 a very tall and posh gentleman. Uh, he's wearing clothes that you're fairly certain they're the only, he only ever wears them when he's in town. He's sort of like, because they don't they they fit him well enough, but he doesn't look comfortable in them. Uh, it's like very 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 posh tunic and uh, and and jacket. It's like he's a very broad shouldered gentleman. He's like yes, hello. That's good. When I hear you're here to to claim the 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 hundred hundred and fifty gold pieces for dealing with the goblin menace. I'd like to make a proposition for you. Uh yes. You form an alliance with the goblins. They know their way around the forest, and your men need to catch food. An alliance with the... You Did you disperse the them or not? Profits, so to speak, and they'll help you catch more. Does, do, you want, does, do you want us to ally with and that sound like a... pay the goblins? Why Why would we do such a thing? Sure. What? Sorry, your mic was cutting out of it there. <clears throat> Uh, would uh, keep the money and instead form a business alliance with the goblins. They know their way around the forest and you guys need to catch a certain work together and give them part of your catch and in turn you could turn a much better profit right. deal than giving $150 to a bunch of Ragtag weirdos that. Let's have no a pers let's have a persuasion check from you against against this gentleman. Uh, uh, roll for me. Ooh. Well, I suppose we can give it a go. If it, if it doesn't work, we'll just send them off and and do the job what should have been done and and uh, and, and send them into the next region. Um. Yes, I suppose we'll give that a go. Uh. So, what's your name? And actually, if you wouldn't mind accompanying me to go meet the... Uh... Oh, come on, don't make me find a token as well. 
<laughs> you don't have to find a token. Just do the whole mind thing still. Okay. For... <laughs> right. Okay. Yep. Uh, and I lead him back to the goblins, and I say, "All right." Uh, and then. So it's, 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 don't forget, it's, it's, about, it's about an hour, hour and a half trek out to the woods. Obviously, because you're a you're a fairly confident thinker, and he is a a, a a comfortable in the wilds as well. It takes him about fifteen minutes to get changed because he's not fussed about that at all. You manage to get back there within the hour because you both of you, you know how to move through the woods. And I walk back, and I I get back there, and I say, uh, "Yes, I actually forgot to ask the name of your leader." I forgot to ask the name of the person that I warned to actually get everyone back here to safety. Uh, oh, no, you didn't take the name of the goblin. Um, uh, he, didn't, he didn't give you his name. But the one you were talking to, uh, which is the one who is basically right in front of you, this gentleman, this, 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 this young gentle goblin here, uh, he... Yeah, he, he didn't take his name either, uh, to be honest. But if, if you come back and you ask his name again, F Fizzle! All right, Fizzle, this is... Uh... I'm sorry. What uh, what was your name again? Matthias Goodwin the uh, Third. Let's let's crouch down for a second. I put my hand on his shoulder and I just kind of help. Uh, 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 yes, yes, okay. I say, right, Fizzle. This guy. Okay, he's gonna send his hunters out, and you're gonna help them find their quarry ah. that they're trying to catch. And they'll give you a, pro a portion of their profits, uh, or uh, a portion of their catch. Okay. Um. Well, we live in in the cave here. It's not a very big cave, but we this is where we live. So if you if you want to do that, then just just come here. And it's meant you know if we got guys free, you know, because like obviously you're coming to us and stuff. You know, if we've got guys free, then we'll 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 do our best to help you out. You see, he's get, he he's got like a, he's a bit self-important now because you've you've come to him. He's he's feeling a bit up himself. And then I a bit cocky. Now to to shake. Yeah, is he, yeah. You guys have a deal. It'll, yeah, it will it will shake your hand. Yeah, yeah, we got to do. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all good. Uh, what was the guy's name again? Nathaniel or something? Uh, Matthias <laughs> Goodwin the third. Oh, Matthias, I have a friend who has a name like yours. I don't like him too much. Shake hands with him, please. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, this is very peculiar. I have to wash my hand when I get back to the... Yes, there we go. Yes, good good sport, good sport. We'll be along in the morning. And then I say, okay, well, off you go. And I pat him on the back really hard to kind of make him stumble, if possible. Uh, Matthias, is that... Uh, who, who are you patting on the back? This is your mic not activating again, I feel. Matthias. Matthias. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. I'm going to a little bit, and I'm not as young as I used to was. And then after he gets out of earshot, I crouch down and I say, All right, if they try anything funny, way to contact me. Actually, is there any sort of like, um, oh, I'm trying to think of the right way to phrase this, like a, Besides just paper and uh... well, I mean there there are there are sorry your mic was cutting out, but I get the gist of what you was kind of implying. There are magical devices that can be used. Uh, it, it's it's widely known and accepted that there are items such as sending stones, which are essentially a medieval version of a uh, like a, a mobile phone. Um, uh, is there any way that I could go get one and then come back after? Um... Um, I need to double check how much they would be because they are technically a form of magical item. And I I'll just double check that. Uh, you should be able to get hold of a set of sending stones. Uh, 
And Vivian and Jacob have both gone back. So is is, there, is everyone is everyone gone gone back to? Head, is everyone else headed back to the tavern? Yeah, it seems to have this in the hand. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll see you guys back there, and then uh, I also go and buy like a small length of uh, twine to kind of tie it on there. I'm gonna like wear around his neck so that way he doesn't lose it. Yeah. Like disappear for a little bit because I've taken up about 15 minutes of everybody's time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that I think is actually a, a good opportunity for us to take a little break as well, because I'm I'm busting for the loo, uh, and ye, the, it is certainly possible for you to procure those those sending stones. Uh, and we'll say that you've taken a bit of time to go back and forth doing that. It's cost you a hundred gold pieces to get a set of sending stones. And then the last thing I tell him is, all right, I'll check up on you tomorrow when they're supposed to be here, and I'll check up on you every day just to make sure everything is going all right. If any problems start happening, good day. So, um, the uh, the guild leader, Matthias Goodwin, is uh, says like, well, I can't really let you. Uh, as you carry on back to the thing, you catch up with them. He's like, I can't really let you just like uh, not not be paid for doing a job. It wouldn't sit right with me at all. But um, here, here you go. We'll do a slightly lower uh, amount of the of the cost. Is a uh, hundred gold pieces for yourself and your party there. Thank you. Which I've got a funny feeling you're going to use that to pay off the sending stones. I use part of my money, but I'll take. Uh... Uh, Maith and Ion's share. Okay. So uh... as another form of punishment, because <laughs> <laughs> I assume I catch up with. Uh, I mean, you, you'd if... be meet, you'd be meeting everyone at the tavern anyway, regardless. So, well, I mean, I was. Would... Oh, if everyone has gone back there, that is. I think they said they were walking back because I. Yeah. Apparently had everything under control. So. Yeah, yeah, so you, yeah. You catch up with. Um... Uh, Jacob and Vivian without much of a problem at all. Basically, you're, you're catching them up to them probably just as you're entering the, the, the city again. Okay. Uh, so I give them their share and then... So, because it was 100 gold pieces and there's five of you total, so Jacob and Vivian, you've each received 20. Sweet. And I would like okay. to, uh, with humility, refuse my share to offset the cost of the Sending Stones. Yeah, I don't you think, think you had a choice in that. Because <laughs> I think um, he was just I doing would also like everything. to head to the temple. You're heading so, to the temple. See, that, would, that would leave me with, what, 100 and, 125 gold, right? Uh, if you, well, it was, it was, it was 100 gold uh, pieces was the, was, uh, was the reward. There's five of you, so it's 20 gold pieces each. Um, it's 100 gold pieces for... You, you had 200 gold pieces as your, as your, your starting amount, as it were, as your, your wage. Um, so you would have had sixty. So yeah, you would have had yeah. So you've gone a hundred and yeah, be on, you'd be on, you'd be on, yeah, you're on one sixty now. Yeah, yeah, you're on one sixty now. Right, toilet break. One sec. Yes. So we're going to take a quick toilet break, quick bio break, <laughs> uh, and then we'll come along uh, and um, we'll be we'll probably be finishing the session up sometime in like the next forty ish minutes. But I kind of hold it.
DMs. Oh my god, this is... Uh, this I'm is back. really something. Just so you know, Ion, I'm smacking that mimosa out of your hand if I see it. <laughs> I still didn't do anything wrong! You mounted a poor helpless creature, I... you tied him up, and you got off. I saw everything, okay? That's not I fair! Right I didn't do it! Could bap you on the no, I... back of the head. <laughs> no, I, I can only apologize for my conduct. Um, is there any way that I can repay you? Uh, I, I have some money if you're you, if you are in deficit for my mistakes. You already lost your share, so no. I st uh, that still doesn't e even come to even a fraction of the uh, remorse I feel for my actions. Again, to try to knock some more sense in there, but I have two hundred and fifteen uh, gold. How much do, would you like? How much would you need? Where Good. did you get the fifteen gold from? Starting equipment patch. Black market. <laughs> then, as you, as your a lot of the backgrounds come with like a, a pouch that has between uh, like right. zero and twenty five gold pieces, depending on which background it is. Okay. So you're 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 Harry. You're. Are you I am of a or... relatively privileged background, if are you can you, tell. Are Are you heading off to, or or have you already headed off to the temple? Uh, I was going to head off to the temple after this interaction. However, I can't actually enter the temple. Why, why not? Uh, backstory reasons. Um, <laughs> however, I would like to, you know, be within sight of the temple while I while I make my uh, evolutions. Uh, let's have. From, let's just give me a religion roll. Where's the other dog? There it is. Uh, but essentially in the backstory that I have, I was raised uh, with the monks in Neverwinter. Mm. Uh, in the Church of Tear, and I defected to Helm and stole a book with me. So which temple were you going to go to? Uh, well, I assume that the, the main temple in... Neverwinter would be to tear. Well, yeah, but there are smaller shrines and other temples around. It's, it's a it's a big multicultural city. If there is a shrine to Helm, I would go there. Yeah, there's a shrine to Helm. So I'll do. I'll let you. I'll let you. Um... Yeah, but it would still, still be a religion check anyway. But I'll just change the modifier in my head for uh, what happens. Well, I did really badly. Mm. He's like forgetting half the words as you're praying. <laughs> but our, our father who art in Devon, um, fa fallowed are thy fields, uh, uh, um, gory in the Thames. Um, no, I don't, I don't, can't, he's just forgotten half the prayer as you're trying. I've done this for you three times now. The dice do not like you. The dice saw what you did. <laughs> May I attempt to pray to try and get some RP back? Uh, go on. Let's 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 see what you can do as a as a as because I know you were looking some up. I know you looked up a bunch of them. Let's have a a a D and D suitable uh, prayer for for you to to helm to see if you can. Try and regain a, a smidgen of your honor. <laughs> to hell, my prey. Grant me the eyes by which you see. The unsleeping sight watch over me. Give me strength where there is fear. In greatest need, your hand appear. Guide me now unto the path I seek through places wicked and cruel meet. Though shall fight against all evil arrayed, you be my warmth and you guide my blade. Grant me the shoulders with which to assume the sins of men. To abate the doom, hear me, burden of thy task. Defend the innocent of this I ask. Helm, permit me to guard, die for your cause. Okay. Okay. So you you you've done your you've done your prayer. Uh, we've spent quite a bit of time in nine. Um, Ion, I think I think we need to come to Ion. 
see okay. what Ion's doing after having made this little journey back. I'm kind of having a small nervous breakdown at the bar. Are you about like, to become an alcoholic? You're just, you're just you're just steadily getting drunk, are you? I tell you what, let's 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 treat this as caro as carousing then, shall we? As what? Let's treat it as carousing. I don't know what that means. Oh, basically, it's uh, it's it's something that you can do as a downtime activity, which basically involves getting drunk and 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 uh, <laughs> trying to and doing things yeah, yeah, and following yeah. the right white rabbit in your state of inebriation. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you know when you get really pissed, and then your friends are leaving the bar. Um, and you make new friends. And you've already made friends, and they're like, you're coming? And you're like, no, I'm going to stay here with this guy who's my best friend. <laughs> yeah. That's carousing. <laughs> and then you have sex with him. No? Possibly, depending on what the results are. Uh, why don't you give me a D100? Oh, okay. Exciting. In the bars of Neverwinter, where nobody goes. Thirty-nine. Oh. Oh no. Oh, okay. I also need a D twenty from you, then, please. Oh my God! What are you gonna do to me? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing worse than what you did to that poor goblin. Very true. Well, you are caught up in a whirlwind romance. <laughs> you rolled 19 there so the romance is ongoing you wake up uh, the following day so basically the rest of the thing for you you wake up the following day you are in bed with a <laughs> female <gasps> dragonborn wow her name, uh, let's see, I can't have the name for her. Uh, that's a decent, that's a decent name for a dragonborn. Chat, help me out. Name, name this creature, this wonderful creature that Ion has spent the night with. Did he get too drunk again? He got rather <laughs> drunk and he's wound up in bed with, uh, with a female dragonborn. <laughs> <laughs> There's not going to be a female dragonborn called Henry. Henrietta. <laughs> we can get. We, uh, uh, we can. We can possibly have Henrietta, but it seems a little. It seems a little bit too. Uh... <laughs> Cecilia. Cecilia, was that? Cecilia. Cecilia. I, Cecilia. I like Cecilia. We'll go with Cecilia. So you have got. If you want to put this on your character sheet, okay. Uh, sure. In terms of the other notes for it, you have an ongoing relationship with a 22-year-old female brass dragonborn named Cecilia. Uh, she works in the tavern. Uh, Poppy's just picked the first female name from the PHP. <laughs> um. Uh, she works uh, in the tavern. Uh, she she works there three nights a week, uh, and she's got tomorrow off. Okay. <laughs> Are we gonna lose? It's a relatively nice name. Yeah. Are we gonna lose him for days at a time so he can go get a booty call? Possibly, possibly. Uh, but yeah, it's an on ongoing relationship. Uh, so that we've we've spent some time with Nile, spent some time with May. Uh, sorry, I'm a real ladies man. If you didn't already know, <laughs> guess I bet this came as a surprise to everybody. Uh oh oh oh! I've just suddenly had a thought. You were really really drunk, weren't you? Hey Tim, what's going? On? You were really drunk, weren't you? Yes. Mine at all. Why don't you roll for me another D100? Oh no, what is this? You did more than one thing while you were out on the town. Oh Do my what? god. What's your name? Who are you again? 35. You, you, know, no, you know her name, you know her and everything. And you were talking a lot last night. She knows a lot about you as well. Oh no. She knows about the forest. Oh fuck! But she doesn't. She, she doesn't hold it again. She doesn't blame you or anything. She 
uh, is very, very much not keen on Maid. <laughs> she thinks that Maid is going to is the one that's going to get you in trouble. Nice. I was like, I gotta have a randomized element in here. Is she gonna know? Is she gonna care? And I was like, oh, let's roll some numbers. Ah, like, uh, yeah, now she cares, but in a different way. Okay. Uh, so Jacob. Yes. What would you like to do? Be be doing basically until nightfall and morning the following day. Um. Well, as he has a unquenchable thirst for knowledge, um, probably look around, probably ask around to see if there's any kind of like magic faction or anything in the town that you can. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, in. there's a there, there's there's a major's guild. Obviously, there's a major's guild. Yeah, probably go and uh, yeah, see if he can learn anything or study. So, so, so he wants to go to the public library. Yeah. Okay, so the, the, or the public library of the of the mages guild. So yeah, so you can, you can go there. You can you can you can spend some time um, learning about uh, you know some some of the, the more more basic cantrips and incantations. Uh, why don't you give me an arcana check, an arcana roll? Uh, I should explain. I'm relaying all of this to Vicky, and she's laughing her tits off at me right now. <laughs> It's a, it's a good one. I'm like, the dice are really not with me this evening. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, so the 20. Why don't you give me a D100, please? Okay, so you have you've been reading through a book, and uh, it, you you feel like you may be starting to get a bit of a grip on on maybe a new cantrip. You you not you can't quite really work out exactly what it is or, or exactly what it's going to do. Um, but you know, if you you feel like if you were to spend a bit more time doing the research on it, um, as in maybe in a, on a, on another day, uh, you you could possibly uh, possibly you learn yourself a new cantrip during this this uh, time that you're here in Neverwinter. Okay. And so we've gone over what um, so that's basically what, what Jacob's plans for the rest of the day. Uh, as I said, Iron is uh, is 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 getting uh, himself a, a new bit of strange. Um, Harry May is spending uh, his his time in prayer. Um, Nye, I, you came back to, to the city. Um, did you? We, 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 blah, 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 blah. What were you doing for the rest of the evening, by the way? Um, I followed Jacob. Just oh, just just generally, so like, so just like generally hanging out and, and doing some reading and stuff. Uh, kind of. I'm in the uh, self help books, and I'm looking at a book that says how to make friends. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. Now, uh, having perhaps left you to last to give you some time to make some ideas and stuff, because I know you're still quite new to this, my darling Gem, what would Vivian like to be do during uh, this time? She is going to be asking around the tavern for information about the person who started the uprising in her village, while also sneakily nicking stuff out of people's pockets. Oh. She's doing some lot, some some some, some thieving. Um, That's normally a whisper job, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, so heads up, if you type forward slash w space gm and then follow it with your message, you can whisper down stuff in roll twenty. Uh, you can also click on it on your character sheet. It has output all gm or self. Oh, that does the the, the sheet output. Uh, you you could also just message me on Discord if you really want to as well. But let's have yeah, let's see how you. I was just that's tired. Fine, it's, fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's not a problem. Because uh, I don't mind other way, but let's uh, let's have uh, let's see how you do for your little bit of petty larceny. Why don't petty you larceny. give me 
Don't get caught by the local militia, for God's sake. <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's have... Let's have a slight of hand check from you, please. Yeah, so the, uh, the, the first person you try to dip your hand into their pocket, uh, they just like, they, they just grab you by the wrist and like, fuck off, girly. Yeah. And, and, and send you away with a, with a, with a boot up, up your ass. <laughs> Uh, but regarding the spending some time and do some asking around, um, I think for that, probably a perception, not perception, persuasion role would probably be best. Yep. So you ask around and you're 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 quite compelling in your in your your plea for help there. You know, in telling the story of of the you know the the the, the the uprising happening and, and wanting to, to know a bit more about it so you can avenge your 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 parents but no one no one knows anything you know it's, it's a big city a lot of stuff happens there's a lot of news that comes through it but it's it was quite a quite a small area where the uprising happened so it's just it's just not it's not made the papers it just hasn't made the papers or the jesters or mm. the bards yeah <laughs> that's what the doing. poets you know what I meant. You know what I meant. So, you're doing that. So, uh, how do people wake up? Well, obviously we know how Ion wakes up. He wakes <laughs> up uh, in a in a, a a warm, scaly embrace. Um, Jacob and Nye both wake up regularly. Uh, I imagine Jacob possibly fell asleep at the library, uh, which is not something that they're un unused to, uh, and he, you know he'll, he'll wake up in in the armchair or the couch, whatever it was he was reading in, uh, with a, a one of the the many blankets that are available strewn across him. Um, and uh, I'm guessing Nye came back to the tavern as as it's, as, oh, as, as, as bedtime no. approached. Hmm? Hell no, I stayed out. You stayed out. I just and I'm just like I'm just gonna sit on the steps here. Don't bother me, please. <laughs> As long as I haven't woken up to find no cuddling me with the How to Make Friends book. <laughs> <laughs> um, God, no. <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, Vivian? Mm -hmm. uh, yep, yeah, you uh, you wake up um, in a, a bit of a cold sweat. You've had uh, some, some not particularly pleasant dreams. Um, in, in, spending so much time talking about uh, talking about the, um, the what will happen with the past, uh, and it's just like it brings it all back to you, and you you, you don't you know you, it's not like nightmares or anything before, but you wake you wake up you wake up like oh, oh, oh. not not feeling uh, not feeling amazing. Um, Harry, <laughs> Maeve, you you wake up at the shrine. God, it's quiet. It's really really quiet. I mean, the shrine, it's a small shrine anyway, but it is, this place is like it's abandoned, like it's deserted. It's really, it's really, just really, really quiet. Um, but with... Is it that like horrible dew feeling when you wake up? Like outdoors? Uh, yeah, it does. It feels very cold. You feel like you know you 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 were uh, you know you spent the you spent the night essentially on the on the floor of the shrine. No one, there's no been really any priests going around to look after you or anything at all. You've just been essentially left to your own devices, and uh, your own devices were not particularly pleasant to your brain. But yeah, that's um, that that is that. So you've got uh, another well. You got a few hours yet, um, so you get yourself some some time for breakfast. But don't forget, for about eleven o'clock in the morning, when that time comes around, you need to go and see Rashid. So party, uh, uh, let's 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 uh, randomise who we go for first. Let's see what. Uh, the... I would like to leave a donation for the church. Yeah, you can do that. Fifty gold. You can do that. Mark it off. Roll the dice. See who we're actually going to go for. Okay. So, what would Vivian like to do 
Yeah. Who, who, how would Vivian like to, to spend her bit of the morning? She wants to um, like meet up with the party or, or, or try and meet up with members of the party? Is she going to wait at the tavern um, for a little while? She will head over, the li over to the library to meet up with Nye and Jacob. Okay. Uh, in that case, if you're doing that, I'll come around to... We'll come around to Ion next then. Okay. You've got a, you've, you've had a lovely morning. <laughs> I've had a lovely morning. Are we both awake like properly, or is? Oh, she's kind of awake. You know, she's like, you, know, you, you got that, you know, that that thing that the the new lovers do of just like idly running a fingertip across the skin, it's like morning, that, all that sort of uh, all that sort of cuteness. Makes Cute. you sick, Gaily doesn't it? claw running across your chest. Just... <laughs> God, I love it. I was just like, hey, babe! Uh, good. <laughs> that voice in the morning is raging headache. It's getting right up in her cloaca, you know. It's, it's fantastic. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, science! <laughs> She's a dragonborn. I'm just like, that was great, babe. Hey, I'll see you around. You work at the tavern, and I don't think... I'm going anywhere, but I have to go uh, get some clothes now, I think. It was close, right? I can't remember, really. Um, anyway, uh, I'll catch you later, babes. And I give her a gentle, sweet kiss on Aww. the forehead. And I'm like, peace! <laughs> and then I go downstairs, and like, without a word, the first thing I do is I go outside. I pull out a mimosa and I pour it out and I'm like, "Here's one for the boys we lost along the way." Where do you keep getting these mimosas from? I feel like as the DM, I should know where you're pro procuring these mimosas. <laughs> you can ask soon about that. You need to carry like an extra water skin just for these mimosas. <laughs> and it's crazy. Then I go back in and I wait for the rest of the party. You're waiting. We're waiting for this party at the tavern. Okay. Yeah. Um, Harry, what do you want to do for the morning? Oh wait, there is a the library. Yeah. That's not a part of the tavern, is it? No. No. Uh, no. No. Well, I start heading where I'm supposed to head. Okay. Red card. Oh, you, oh, you want to you want to start heading to Rashid's shop? Yeah. Okay. Well, so you were you were given as a part of this, you were given directions on where to go to. So you're you're heading to the uh, to, to like the more. Basically, like yep. the retail district, as it were. Uh, so you're you're heading there. So we'll, we'll make it so that you're you basically you're, you're arriving there, and, and either we'll be arriving at the same time or or uh, or shortly after. Um, yep. uh, Harry, what what would Maid like to be doing? Uh, so I've done the donation to the church. You've done the donations to the church. You've done. Uh, I guess prayer. I'm just gonna regroup and see what everyone else is doing. Okay. Um. So well, the, the, you you know that the that you've got the party has got room and board at the tavern, uh, and you know that you're meant to be meeting at uh, Rashid's uh, Rashid's clothing shop. Uh, I'll head to Rashid's at uh, the time we agree. Okay, okay, so you got that. And Jacob and I, you, you two obviously both uh, both at the at the the library. Um, Jacob, come to you first. What, what, uh, how would you like to, to spend your morning with that, with that, uh, currently yet having not breakfasted? Uh, probably use the because uh, most majors would obviously have living courses and stuff like that. Yeah. Probably use, like freshen up, have a wash, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. They then, uh, uh, they, they, they 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 charge you a, a small amount of money just to make use of it. So they, they only charge you five copper pieces to make use of their facilities. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and probably just head out to like some local food vendor and just get, grab something to eat. No, well, yeah. I mean, they've, as a part of that five copper, you know, they, they let you have access to their to their commissary as well, so you can oh, you cool. can have your breakfast there if you want to. Yeah, because because you because you are a, a you may not be a member, but you are you know your your ability is is recognised, and so you know, they're they're quite they're quite uh, uh, relaxed about that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, all right, and nine. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, so first thing I do is I message uh, Fizzle. Things are going with the uh, with the hunters. It's going well. We're we're we're, hunt we're we're on the 
hunt in a minute. I'll, I'll talk, we'll hunt. Talk later. And then I guess I just for Jacob and then um, I guess whoever else may or may not be coming. Me. Okay. Well, see, so uh, well, if you're if you're at the uh, if you're still at the library, then you'll be you'll you'll still have Jacob there, and you'll you'll meet up with Vivian as well, who's heading to the the library. Um, I feel like she's heading saying... to the library to make sure you don't forget. Yeah. What are you saying? I said yeah. No, no what was what was oh. nice saying? Oh. Oh well, I was saying. I mean, I don't know if anybody else is showing up at the library. That's why I was saying in case other people are showing up. Okay. Right, so uh, the three of you then are, 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 I'm assuming once you've all meet, uh, met up and grab yourself some some food and and uh, and drink and stuff, you'll be heading to Rashid's. Yep. Yep. Okay, okay. <laughs> yep. So you head to the uh, the, the the tunic shop. Is uh, Rashid's fine apparel, and there's a, a, a gentleman behind the counter. Uh, and as you walk in, he goes, yeah, "Welcome, welcome. You are here to be measured, yes. Mm, for the fine clothing, yes. Mm, yes. Must divest yourselves of current investments, yes, yes, yes. Undress now, yes, and I can measure you, yes, yes, yes." I thought you'd never ask, and I just like stripped out. Uh, as as you do so, a uh, a small uh, winged humanoid figure um, uh, flutters uh, through from another room and lands on the desk. Says, "No, Dar, stop being so vile! I must apologize. I please get dressed again." He averts his eyes. Oh, I must okay. apologize. I I would not keep him around were it not for the fact that his skill with needle and thread are utterly remarkable. I am Rashid, and I was made aware you would be attending the store this morning. Uh, is it dress uniform or the simple garb? Uh, I must inform you that the simple garb will be free to yourselves as per the arrangement that I have uh, with your masters. However, I do charge 10 gold per outfit for the dress uniform to cover the material and labour costs. Uh, you'll notice as well that in my current my current form uh, that I'm still immaculately well dressed. This uh, serves as a good example to, to show uh, what my, uh, my my capabilities are. And he, so, like, he, he flitters off. Um, to basically stand on on a, a, a round table and he uh, like a, like a pedestal sort of thing, and he invites you to, to to come around him, and he does a does like a little a little catwalky type thing with like the turns and stuff. You'll see here, even though I have the wings and the tail, that it does not disturb the flow of the garment at all. It's uh, very well designed, of course, by myself. And uh, yes, if you, no matter what your your size or shape. We will be able to make an immaculate, immaculate garment for you. I, I just have to say that Ion, Ion is like so pleased with all of this. Like he's just <laughs> snapping his finger. You work, girl. Yeah. <laughs> My God. Yes. Um. So yes, Rashid is a uh, a very handsome uh, little imp, uh, but he is dressed. So well, I mean, like, like, uh, 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 suited and booted. You know, he's he's absolutely he, he just like he could not look any better. But he is an imp. So, well, what do you think of the work? I love it. I'll have one of those dress suits, please. Certainly. If you'd like to hand my colleague Nadal ten gold pieces, as uh, we can uh, buy in the material for you. Um, now, I, I, I must admit, uh, something I've got to ask you, uh, Lyov. You're yeah. you are a tiefling, yes? Yeah. Are you a tiefling with or without a tail? I can't remember. I do have a tail, but you... I always forget to mention it. When okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yes, of course we'll make sure to to make a proper. Uh, fitting for the tail so that you can dress yourself without any difficulty there at all, sir. Thank you. Oh, this is also fabulous. I love it. So it'll take us um, a, a few days to to, to prepare uh, your uniforms, regardless of uh, their their style. 
Um, ladies, uh, lady, gentlemen, would you uh, care to, to let us know exactly what you would like, whether you prefer the simple garb or the dress uniform, please? <clears throat> well, first, can I say that as I see Maeve, I look at him, snarl, and spit at his feet before I say, I take the simple garb, garb uh, preferably something lightweight, as the uh, the standard uniform, it's uh, very uh, free uh, for for movement, uh, so it won't wear you down or anything at all. The uh, the it's a it's a very fine linen that we use. And then I also say, and is that a uh, is that a quiver there? Can I actually get a custom made one? Uh, we can do a, a custom quiver for you. We don't do a huge amount of leather work, but we do indeed uh, dabble every now and then in some elements. We can have a uh, a, a a a custom made quiver for you if you would like get one that'll hold about those and will actually hold them tightly so that way they don't have to move yes, we, or we should be jostle able around to, we should be able to make a, a quiver with a, a form of a, a adjustable opening so that it, uh, it it will it will make life easier for for someone of a, a stealthy nature to to do their job their jobs <laughs> um <laughs> just seen in the chat i've got a big okay, what even am i is that tarfo jesus uh i say thank you um so how much will it how much will it be for the uh for the quiver uh, if you're having the regular uniform um let's say um uh, there's the leather and stuff. Uh, five gold pieces to have the quiver made for you, sir. Uh, ten gold pieces just as a tip for actually making it a custom order as well. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Very kind of you. Uh, so, Ion is wanting the, wanting the dress uniform. If you want to just make a note on your sheets of which one it is you've ordered. Um, just to make life a little bit easier for just in case I, I do lose my bit of paper. Because I'm using scrap paper for most of this now. So is this only used at certain times, this, or is this to like a, a new, new outfit well, for it the is, whole time? Well, that is entirely up to you. You can wear it the whole time, or you can have it so that you uh, you wear it uh, only under certain occasions. Uh, the choice is yours, sir. It, it, at the end of this, it will be your uniform to do with as you wish. Due to um, mishaps with, you know, fire, I'll take the, the standard one. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, you there, madam? What would you? What would you? Would you um, like? I will just go for the one that's supplied for free. Certainly, madam. We'll, uh, we'll do our best to accompany your build. Because I remember you describing her as being um, top heavy. Yes, that one. You may need to charge a small amount for material costs just to offset it. <laughs> there we go. And you, the rather depressed looking gentleman, what would you like? What are these uh, necklaces that seem to be hanging from the top of the counter? Oh, they're just um, jewelry. Just uh, so I, I have a, a friend who who makes uh, simple, um, just just uh, little affectations, ostentatious little little knickknacks and uh, and doodads. And uh, I I do stock some of them so that he can have his wares in uh, other places. It's the sort of thing that people like to accessorize their their outfits. They're beautiful. The craftsmanship is excellent. Yes, the gentleman just down the uh, down the way is uh, name is um, oh, what is he? he, uh, he Who is the gentleman he has that does the work for him? It's Jenkins who owns the shop. Who's the gentleman? What's he had? He had a he had a, a, a new had a new little gnome he had in the the uh, just the other week. He only just hired him a little while ago. Uh, was it Effie, by any chance? No, 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 no. Uh, what was it? Gadge, that's it. Gadge. 
as uh, mm. is, is a little, little, little tinkerer. He uh, he he does. He likes to to dabble in in jewelry where he can. With his uh, his very deft fingers, are able to to work on uh, such things. Um, well, I must say, um, I'm not a I'm not a man for finery, so I'll I'll just go with the uh, the plain robes with the. Uh, with this emblem on it, if you can, and I, I show him an image of, of what I'm after. Up for the image of Helm, I'm guessing, yeah. Uh, yeah, with the shield on it, yeah. the one that went up in the Discord. Yeah, um, certainly, certainly, sir. We'll, we'll do our best to to uh, to, to in, implement such designs with the embroidery. May I uh, inquire as to where your friend's shop is? Uh, it's the five minutes down the, that just down the street to the left. Uh, very well. I'll, I'll make sure to pay him a visit. Okay, so with all that in place, uh, we are three minutes to 11, so I'm going to say we're going to call that there. I think that's a good uh, opportunity as any to, to, to stop there. You've, you've, uh, you've, you've been and done the, um, uh, the, 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 one of the tasks, which was to, to register your design. So guys, please do, before the start of the next session, uh, make sure you've got a, a design sent to me on Discord, because um, that's something that's going to be coming into play uh, shortly. Um, and uh, you've got your your tunics are are, are ordered and will uh, be being uh, made and they'll be available for you to to collect basically uh, at the end of your downtime you'll be taking them back with you uh, you've done a job from from the uh, from the minor jobs list oh my god uh, <laughs> some of you are, are suffering with PTSD possibly uh, is there anything juicy in Gadget's shop before we leave town uh, what was, is, well, you're, you're not leaving town yet. You're still you're going to be in town for about a week, so you've, you've got. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, so you're, you're going to have you're going to have some water. It's basically, next session you'll have another opportunity to. to you have a crack you mean I've got to wait stuff. a week before I meet Gadge again? You've got to wait a week before you meet Gadge, because also I need to try and get that voice back because people need to forget the goblin voice and remember that this is then going to be the gnome's voice instead because they have very similar voices. Because I only have so much really? range. I just I... remember Hodgkin's Jackamire. Oh, Hodgkin's Jack hey, Mike. And yes. Mike. yes. Mike, do you remember Hodgkin's Jack and Meyer? Uh, oh, was, oh Mike, yeah. Yeah, was Mike him. there? Yeah, Mike was there. <laughs> I have nothing but contempt. Oh. This might have been <laughs> um, like the worst possible session for you to start uploading on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, was, I, was, I was thinking that. That did occur to me. But let's see um, if we can uh, if we can find someone we're gonna we're gonna host and, and shed this love to. My my I personal favourite though, I asked Dan to play like a snake oil salesman in my tabletop game, and he came up with the most ridiculous list of items. And I turned around and I said, "If you can sell any of my players any of these items, I will be astounded." But we saw <laughs> we saw it's like seven things, didn't I? Or something. Yeah, yeah, we had we had everything from rubidium coins. Uh, if you don't know, rubidium in real life is an element that explodes on contact with water. Yes, yes it does. <laughs> yes. Um, and it rained almost immediately afterwards. <laughs> um, and the second one, the other one that really caught my attention was fan of the wafting wind. <laughs> oh, man. The hand, the hand fan of the wafting wind. I'm still proud of that. I was one of the only people that didn't buy anything. Yeah. Yeah, I think you got one genuine item out of it. It was like a spell scroll or something. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I know who we're going to go and host though, because Artifice is currently <laughs> creating some characters for D and D, and that seems like a good little segue to have some D and D lovers to go and watch some more D and D. Oh, I remember what it was. Uh, Potions of the Ephemeral. Uh, hey, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's just an empty bowl. <laughs> someone brought up, uh, Josh brought up loads of them because he just absorbed the book and he was like, oh, these are amazing and bought all of them. And then when he drank it, it turned out just to be water. And he was yeah. like, but these are supposed to turn me invisible. And I was like, no, that's potions of the ethereal. <laughs> yeah, the potions of the ephemeral. I was like, I, I was so proud of that one. <laughs> We're going to go and raid Artifice. Uh, make sure I've actually spelled uh, his name correctly. It'd be a good idea. Let's make sure he's actually still there. To apologize, but Nye hates your character now. Like he hates his guts. No, no, absolutely, that's fine. I'm gonna trip you over and watch you fall down a cliff. 
Um, well, hopefully, hopefully, uh, Keyblade, one day we will have a nice redemption arc. You know? But but for now, I, I, that's fine. Yeah. I just figured I'd let so, you know now. Guys, I hope you guys yeah. stick around for just a couple minutes more so we can do the raid. Um, uh, yeah, so we're going to go say hello to Artifice. He's currently doing some character creation, uh, a little bit of D&D &D stuff. Uh, so, of course, we're going to go <laughs> shed this love. Yeah. Up. And I will be back tomorrow. I will be on yeah. tomorrow for uh, for some Warframe because we've got Tactical Tuesday. Uh, I will not be on though Wednesday or Thursday because I'm going to be at Gems helping to build her PC. Um, yeah. So yes, we should see that, my friends. Take care. Much love. Look after yourselves. Pray to our own Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs>